right, what is up, you beautiful people? This is Gary Horn, and this is this is the NWA. It's the show celebrating the past, present, future history, legacy, and tradition of the greatest pro wrestling entity of all time. Of course, we're talking about the National Wrestling Alliance. You know, one of the guys with me is Will Martin. He's up there. Hey, Will. And uh, Doc couldn't be with us tonight, so we had a special guest in Mr. Kyle Davis. Thanks for being here, Kyle. I'll try to be extra ornery and just... Everything you say, I'll contradict, so that way you'll feel like Doc's still here. And we didn't want to do this whole show without delivering on the promise, and we promised that the women's world heavy... I always want to say world's heavyweight champion. I guess that always feels like it could be a bad call to say that, and I don't want to piss anybody off that's here tonight. <laughs> the uh, women's champion, the world's champion, Camille, is here. Thanks for being here, Camille. Hello, hello. I didn't even make anyone wait. I'm here right on time. Yeah, I mean, we weren't even going to have you on for like a little while, and she was ready to go right now. She's got a lot on her mind, and we're going to get to that yeah. right up top. So uh, let's uh, let's move Camille. Yeah, his beautiful center of the screen there. And uh, I guess that since way. you're here, the very first thing we want to talk about, and first we want to thank everybody for being here. I usually say uh, give a shout-out to all the people. Uh, I see you in there, Charles, Raymond, Craig, Patrick, Certified uh, Polka Dot Pabs here. Eric Dale, Caps, Pro Wrestling Central is here. Ah, so many people. Anyway, the point is, is that you guys are all here to talk about this, I'm sure. At the Crockett Cup, March the 20th, that's night number two, the NWA World Women's Championship is on the line, and it has been announced. It is a triple threat match, of all things. Camille is defending that title against not one, but two opponents, Kylie Ray, one of the fastest up and comers in the NWA right now. And then Chelsea Green, who is notorious for many, many reasons. And uh, I'm sure we're going to get into that. So anyway, Camille, I don't, I don't know how early you find out these things, but how's it feel knowing that at the Crockett Cup, you've got two opponents now. And I guess in a triple threat, another factor is you might not even have to be involved in the decision. Yeah, so, well, uh, it's always fun to find out on the internet, as everyone else does, at the same time that everyone else does, when you're the champ, so that felt really good. And then the fact that it was a triple threat uh, obviously did not make me too happy, because like you said, they don't even have to pin me. So I don't even have to technically lose, you know, this match to lose my title, which is absolute uh, bull crap, if you will. So, yeah, and I don't know, I don't know why the people that are in it are even in it, uh, Kylie, I thought she was part of a tag team. I thought she would be, be facing the Hex, but all of a sudden she's a singles competitor again now. And then Chelsea, who just manages to get herself involved in everything in the world, in the wrestling world. So I, I don't know. Uh, I just think, once again, it's another uh, Billy conspiracy. Uh, he's just sick of me holding the title, being a badass, being unbeatable, and he wants to try everything possible to get me beat and get the title off me. But that's not happening, Billy. So good luck. I mean, let's be honest here. Chelsea Green is in the match. We heard it from William Patrick Corgan himself. The champion, Matt Cardona, used basically the fact that he's champion to pressure Billy into putting her in this match. So it's not like a conspiracy or anything. The champion himself is manipulating things in order to get to there. Uh, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, To pressure the owner of the NWA. The owner. Is Matt Cardona the owner? No, he's a champion. He's not the owner of the NWA. He, Billy gets to make all the decisions. Billy had no backbone. That's why I'm calling him no backbone Billy from now on. And he gave in. So, yes, it is still a conspiracy, if you ask me. I mean, as somebody who was with the NWA World Heavyweight Champion for years when that was Nick Aldis, who was a man who also leveraged the world title to get what he wanted in that situation, I think you could at least relate. I mean, you've been a part of that before. I can't relate because I've never played politics. I've just shown up and been a badass and been the best. And that's all I've ever done. I've never played politics. I never even barely speak to Billy Corgan. I may give him a mm, backstage and that's about it. I do what I have to do. I show up and I'm the best. And that's why I hold the title. So just because I was on Nick's side didn't mean I was sitting there back with him politic in every which way. No, I just show up and do me. Apologies. I got to ask you, I got to ask you, Camille, that Chelsea Green uh, recently in the hot news right now coming out of uh, an impact uh, show is that Chelsea green injured her arm. And I thought that that might take her out. We might see you and Kylie Ray one-on-one -on -one in this matchup, but instead Chelsea green is staying in this matchup. And now she's 
on the internet and everywhere talking about how she's going to win the women's championship one armed. How does that make somebody like you feel? Well, of course she's on the internet talking. That's all she does. She lives on the internet talking about herself and trying to get herself over and over and over and over and over. But anyway, first of all, that girl needs to drink some milk and get some calcium in her bones or something. Cause she's always broken. She's always hurting herself. I don't know what that's about. So it's either that or maybe she is just faking it because she knew that she had this match coming up with me. And when she loses, she wants an excuse. Do you really think that there'd be a competitor that would fake an injury to that extent just to manipulate everybody into like pulling a rope a dope? That's that's a horrible human being if she's doing that. Have you ever met Chelsea Green? I mean, yeah, I've met her before. Look at her taste in men, but I mean, beside the point. I wouldn't put it past her. I wouldn't put it past her to already go in knowing or be scared that she's going to lose because I already beat her once by ripping off that arm and she tapped out. So she's thinking, okay, well, how can I get around this? Uh, when I lose, I need an excuse so that she can get another chance probably afterward to face me again, even though after I beat her twice, because it will be twice after Crockett Cup. So I think she's just planning for the future. I mean, just don't overlook Kylie either. I mean, that's that's a competitor there that you could be so focused on Chelsea. And this, obviously there's some sort of heat between the two of you, but Kylie could just sweep right in and just don't be distracted. That's all I'm saying. Well, to piggyback no, on what right, Kyle's right. saying. I, 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 I'm putting something this way. Uh, I've been putting something together, a little something together to get everyone excited about the Crockett Cup. And through that, uh, someone kind of leaked a little bit of footage to me of uh, uh, a promo that Kylie did. And she doesn't even know why she's in this match. Just like me. I, Kylie, I don't know why you're in this match either. I don't know how you got to be a number one contender. I don't know how they put, I, I don't know what they were thinking. You are a great competitor. I'm not taking that away from Kylie. She's very athletic. She she's she's good. But why is she in this match? Your guess is as good as mine. Nobody here is going to argue that you're the biggest threat uh, out of any. I, I would say any professional wrestler in the business almost right now. So uh, that out of the way, Chelsea and Kylie are both vicious competitors on their own. Uh, Smiley Kylie, as she's known, has been known to, to turn it up when it's time in the middle of the ring. Is is there a certain strategy somebody like you uses when you're going in there and you know that, that these two could face off and try to just eliminate you from the equation? I mean, do you, do you have any plans for that or what, what goes through your mind? No, a hundred percent. I mean, if they were smart, they would be talking right now. They'd be texting each other, getting together and trying to take me out and then take me out completely and then just make it one-on-one -on -one between them and see what happens from there. If they were smart, that's what they would do. And so, of course, I'm ready for that. And so I'm going to, into this thing with no friends, knowing that I have to keep – and I, I'm going to look like a hammerhead shark with eyes on both sides, looking everywhere. And, um, yeah, I just have to take care of business, either take them out both, take them out one at a time. I don't know, but I got to take them out. So they can't, so they can't pin each other. That's what I'm the most worried about. I'm the most worried about me losing this title because one of them pins each other. Because if if Chelsea Green is out in a weak moment and Kylie gets her, then Kylie wins, and that's has nothing to do with me. Even though I could have, it's just it's, it's driving me crazy to really to think about the fact that I can lose this match without actually being pinned. It's bullshit. That's the way to put it. Um, all right. Well, I, I guess I, I don't want to let you go either without asking, is, how's Tom? Is, he, is his training going well? And uh, he's getting ready for his his big matchup. He's in the Crockett Cup. How's, how's his mental state right now? Is he ready to win this thing? Yeah, Tom's great. He's been pushing it hard in the gym, pushing it hard with his diet. Uh, he just finished his uh, little leg tattoo. He's pumped about that. So, you know, he's going to go into Crockett Cup with some new, some new ink fueling him up. So I know he's excited about that. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. I have no doubt that him and Chris together can win the whole thing and um, be the Crockett Cup champs. Feels like with a uh, strictly business sweep that uh, that would have to really set the standard in the NWA and send a message to, uh, I, I won't use your nickname, but uh, Billy Corgan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be really exciting. It would be more exciting if it was me as the champ and love Chris to death, hope they get the tag titles. But if Tom was uh, the world's heavyweight champion, because I think he deserves that. But, you know, 
we'll save that story for another day. We'll, we'll save that for another time. But yeah, it, if they get the tag team championships and uh, I'm sitting there on top as well, strictly business back on top. I mean, we've never really stopped being on top, but you know what I mean. Well, to, to round this whole thing off, I mean, you, you don't, you don't seem worried. And I guess that's the most important part here. You seem to be coming into this as confident as you've ever been on any match, even though this one's uh, kind of uh, weighing uh, heavily on another side than yours in, in, in terms of the, the fractions, I guess. Hey, if you're not confident, what are you? Don't, don't get me wrong. I respect, don't mean I like, but I respect both girls. They're both good competitors. But like, like I said, if you're not confident, if you're not a little bit cocky, what are you as a champion? I hold that title with the utmost respect, the utmost power, the utmost everything. And I will come out of that tournament of the Crockett Cup as champion. All right. Kyle, Will, anything else for the champ? We don't want to take up all of our time. I, I just... You know, I didn't. I didn't want to 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 chat with you, Camille, without bringing up Natalia Markova. Um, I was going to get targets on you from every direction, and it's. I don't like triple threat matches, but it's kind of fitting that that this is a triple threat match at the Crockett Cup because it seems like you, more than really any other champion in all of professional wrestling, everybody wants a shot at that title and uh, they seem to be coming after it. And Natalia Markova is one that, you know, she just mentioned you by name asking for a, a title match. What are your thoughts on her and, and where do you see that headed? You know, Natalia is not stupid. Uh, she was very smart by calling me out. She just came into the NWA and she knows where she wants to go and that's on top. And the way you get on top is by beating the best and the best is Camille. So I understand why she called me out. Uh, I don't know if she's, quite ready for that yet but i i don't love may i don't uh, you know i think may thinks that we are better friends than we really are but i also don't like people just coming in and picking on the little guy like may is an interviewer you know may may has nothing to do with in-ring stuff with it she she just does her job as an interviewer and the fact i saw a clip of a markova like pulling her hair <laughs> and i just thought someone has to stop this I'm not a good guy. I'm not the bad guy. I just like people to act a certain way. And you don't come into my locker room acting that way. So I had to put her in check. Gotcha. I mean, but we saw what happened there. You could consider it a match whether you do or you don't. I mean, Kenzie Page intervened. And, you know, some could say that Markova technically has a disqualification win over you. A disqualification win. First of all, no one has ever beat me. No one has ever won over me. So, no, that's not the case. It's not my fault that Kinsey popped in there. I didn't ask Kinsey. I, for, I don't, I'm not even cool with Kinsey like that. I beat Kinsey, too. So maybe she wanted to get in on that, make it a triple threat. Maybe, you know, Like you said, everybody wants a piece. So bring it on. Fantastic. I mean, you're in a piece everywhere. NWA USA, NWA Power, the Crockett Cup. You are all over. And I just got to say, Champ, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. And I will see everybody. At the Crockett Cup, whether you're there live, whether you buy it on Fight TV, just be there. All right. Thanks for your time, champ. She scares me. I, as she should, because. Uh, I'm a short man and she's a, a strong, tall, powerful woman that could probably destroy me at a heartbeat. Also, her spouse is also a strong, tall, powerful man. So together, I mean, that's a power. If we, we are NWA power, I think they are the power couple. Just put it you out know, there. Uh, I like that. I, I like put it that. on a shirt. Yeah, yeah, with the three R's and everything. Um, I, I will say this. There are no two people that intimidate me more to, have to talk to uh, <laughs> than those two. So it's uh, it's it's very – it's it's. I'm glad you guys were here and <laughs> it wasn't just left up to me. Um I, I don't want to waste her time. I want to make sure all of the uh, questions are uh, on point when it comes to Camille. But we are, uh, she is the champ. We're grateful. Thanks for being here, Camille. And uh, again, you guys, if you aren't familiar already, that's the uh, NWA World Women's Championship match. Camille versus Kylie Ray versus Chelsea Green. That's going to be on night number two, which is a stacked night of wrestling action at the Crockett Cup. You definitely want to be there if you haven't already gotten your tickets. I think there's a couple of ring sides. Maybe you can grab nwatix.com. Make sure to pick those up. And, of course, if you can't be there in person, 
Uh, your next next best option is to watch this thing on Fight TV. And uh, Kyle, I believe uh, if we try hard enough, we could probably get you to tell us about it right here. The landscape of professional wrestling is changing, and we strive to be at the forefront of that change. Introducing NWA All Access, a brand new service from the National Wrestling Alliance and Fight. For an annual subscription of just $49.99 a year, you'll gain access to every NWA pay-per-view, early access to NWA Power, NWA USA, and special Fight-exclusive content. To subscribe, visit fight.tv today. That's F-I-T-E dot TV. Why bother with monthly subscriptions when one year does it all? All right, and uh, so real talk. I thought I had to start describing all that stuff, and then that started playing, and I was like, "Oh, oh yeah, I, have I, an was, hour. Uh, I wouldn't have thrown you under the bus like that, buddy. I, I, I had you, yeah." Also, every time I have to watch it, that's my biggest gripe with NWA Power is how often I hear my voice as as somebody who does not like their voice. You guys have beautiful voices; it's fantastic. Oh, I love you. listening to you. It's it's a dulcet tone that's just right there. But me, mm, so hard. You sound- well, the difference is you sound like a professional. I think that's, that's yes. the thing. <laughs> if by dulcet you mean untrained and uh, unseasoned, unprofessional. We I'll sound like you gentlemen. Yeah, we sound like bearded gentlemen who are still trying to figure out how we're here. And you sound like a guy who <laughs> has worked his butt off to be in the wrestling business. So congratulations. Yes. Um, all right. So let's talk about, let's see, what else? Oh, you know what? I got I got something that'll be fun to see. Uh, got a chance to talk to Chelsea Green backstage at Power Trip. She had the big win uh, there over Kenzie Page. And uh, also that same night, her husband, Matt Cardona, was going one-on-one with Trevor Murdoch in the World's Heavyweight Championship match. Since it plays right off of the Camille thing, I figure we'll just jump over to that real quick and we can get her thoughts on her match and Matt Cardona's match that's going to be airing as part of night number three of Power Trip tomorrow night, 6.05 on Fight TV and WA Power. But here's Chelsea. This is the NWA standing in the back with Chelsea Green. Chelsea, a big victory tonight against Kenzie Page. I just wanted to see if I could get your thoughts coming out of that match. I heard what you all said. You, 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 everyone, everyone on the internet, I heard what you all said. You called me crazy. You called me a hot mess. Well, guess what? I cleaned my makeup off. I redid my lipstick. And I came back and I kicked the living sh... Out of Kenzie Page. (laughs) What else do you want to know? Huh? I also, if you don't mind, wanted to ask... What? Matt Cardona has a big match against Trevor Murdoch for the World's Heavyweight Championship... Do you think tonight is Matt Cardona's night? Of course. Of course I think tonight is Matt Cardona's night. Every single night is Matt Cardona's night when he's married to the hot mess. She's always pleasant too, by the way. Just just not at all frightening. You know, listening to her, I, it dawned on me earlier when Camille was on here, we talked about, you know, strictly business, possibly doing a sweep, but you know, Cardona has quite the group also in the Crockett Cup tournament. Uh, And so literally you could see Cardona win, retain the world title. We could see Chelsea Green become the NWA World Women's Champion. And we could see Team Cardona or the Cardona family end up walking away with the Crockett Cup. I mean, that's that would be a story in its own right. I I mean, Matt Cardona already seemingly. Uh, has a lot of pull right now just because he has the 10 pounds of gold and he's he's making his calls and we're seeing all this stuff happen. I mean, imagine if that's the case, the the pendulum of power would swing in a huge way. You know, we've we've for years talked about strictly business. We've talked about idol mania, sports management. But but you're right. If the Cardona's come in and totally sweep this thing, I mean, that would be a huge shift in the power dynamic in the NWA. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. I mean, I guess uh, now's as good a time as any. To, we're talking about the Crockett Cup and talking about those teams. Let's look here at these brackets. Here's the completed brackets for uh, March 19th, 20th, National Fairgrounds, Crockett Cup. Night one, we know now, is going to be just loaded up with Crockett Cup matches. Uh, you'll see. Yes. I mean, you, you can see all of these matches here. I mean, the first one, of course, uh, listed. You don't really know who the opponent is because uh, La Rebellion's joining this thing, our world's tag team champions. But they've got to face. Uh, well, they don't even know who they've got to face in their first round. And then their first round opponent 
has an extra match. So this is, there's a lot working here. Uh, but yeah, the play in matchups here, if you take a look there, you got Violets is forever, the Heat Seekers, Bad News Boys, and the Rip City Shooters. That's a four way matchup to play in. Whoever wins this match has the unfortunate task of having to go toe to toe with La Rebellion, Mecha Wolf, and Basia 666. That's, that's going to be a barn burner right there. Yeah, that, that's tough. And that's that's it's it's kind of crazy, you, you know, frame it that way, because, I mean, these these guys in this play in match all have a huge opportunity, but then they have to turn around and that opportunity is against the NWA World's Tag Team Champs, two of the scariest guys in professional wrestling, La Rebellion. So, you know, I, I've been looking into some of these play in teams. I got to tell you, you know, I'm really impressed with the Heat Seekers. Um, you know, they've got an impressive uh, resume, um, four time NWA champions, in fact. Uh, and in their own words, they never lost the title. So, it, you know, you got to imagine if they were going to face La Rebellion, that, that there would be a chip on their shoulder. They're facing the, the champions for belts that in their mind they never lost. Um, so there's a lot going on there. But all four teams in that play-in match, I mean, they could be anywhere else in the tournament and, and it would be deserving. So it's, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how that plays out. I think it is interesting you bring up the Heat Seekers, and they are a crazy anomaly in all this because, again, they were a team from before the Lightning One era, the modern NWA era. So that that transition of everything we know and love today, you know, they might begrudgingly, you know, have an issue with that, considering it cost them the tag team titles in a way. Yeah, um, that's that's definitely there. There was to look at another team I, I particularly think is kind of interesting is Joshua Bishop and uh, Maserati West. Barkley, uh, those are the uh, Rip City Shooters. Uh, those guys, uh, unfamiliar to me before all of this started, but I've been watching tape of these guys uh, representing Absolute Intense Wrestling, and uh, that's a place where Matt Cardona's been hanging out here recently. In fact, he recently won their World's Championship. So, uh, and both of these men, it. yeah, <laughs> the man is just everything about him just seeping into NWA. Literally, it, it's like six degrees of separation of Matt Cardona, everything now. I don't get how this happened. Yeah, well, I, I know that both of these guys have had issues with him there in that particular promotion, and so I'm sure that they'd love to get all the way to the end and meet up with the Cardonas in the finals. Uh, I'm sure that's uh, exactly what they're going for. And don't sleep, by the way, on the bad news, boys, because these guys have been around. The the uh, They were in the 2019 Crockett Cup in that big battle royal at the beginning to get the final – uh, place in, in that matchup. And so uh, very cool to see them make the full circle here and they're back at the Crockett cup and they've got a lot to offer the WA. And I'm sure that uh, they're going to be looking to take this thing all the way to the end. And of course, uh, don't forget about violence is forever who I even underestimated how hot they were online. Like people are behind this team. Violence is forever. Shoes. Uh, who needs shoes? <laughs> right violence is forever is ridiculous and they are uh exactly as their name would imply violet it's not just a clever name so spoiler alert i was privy to all of the tag teams that put in submissions and there was hundreds of tag teams this is this is not some kind of crazy little made-up story here we legitimately got tag teams from all over the world they put in and these were the teams that a had the opportunity that they they presented themselves in a way where they should be given an opportunity and B, you know, wanted to be a part of this. So these aren't just random names picked out of a hat, like effort went into this. So I'm really looking forward to this match because to be given an opportunity on a stage such as the Crockett Cup at that level, I mean, you've seen that they all represent their own other wrestling promotions and everything, but to make a name in the NWA, this is your opportunity. And uh, it's just unfortunate that right after they win, they're going to have to go against La Rebellion, whoever that winner is. Well, that's a, that's a good point, Kyle, and, and, and that's actually well said because I think one of the dis factors that goes into a decision like this is you is you look at these four teams and you think it can't just be any four teams. It can't just be any chumps off the street. It's got to be legit people that, uh, that management thinks can win this tournament. And all four of these teams know going in, they've got five matches versus four matches. They're going to have to face off against the world's champions right off the jump so i mean the, there was a lot that went into the thought process here but these teams are teams that uh, william patrick corgan pat kenny uh whoever uh decided 
was up to the task, basically. Um, we can talk about some teams that we do know or some matchups that we do know since we don't know which one of those teams La Rebellion is going to be going up against. The other first-round matches in the Crockett Cup on night number one, you've got the Id versus Hawks RE. These two two regulars on the NWA uh, television these days, and uh, we love them. We love them both, and they uh, are seated at number eight and number nine, so obviously uh, – Corgan and Kitty thought they were pretty evenly matched up as far as ability to get it done. So I got to know what you guys think about this one. Yeah. I mean, two teams pretty uh, evenly experienced, I would say in an NWA ring and both with a lot to prove. I mean, the end have, have had uh, a couple of chances at the tag titles um, and have come up short and, and, you know, they've had a storied uh, feud with La Rebellion that I personally don't think is over. I don't think we've seen the last of that. Uh, but then you've got Hawks Airy who have uh, been part of NWA for a long time. And every time we talk to them, they talk about the tag titles. They talk about the Crockett cup. They talk about establishing themselves as a dominant tag team in the NWA. So this is one where there's going to be a lot of emotion, a lot to prove, uh, at the end of the day, if, if I have to make a pick, if that's what you're asking me, um, you know, my, my head tells me to go at the end just because they're scary guys. And um, I think I think that they uh, are probably a little pissed off at their you know missed opportunities to, to capture the tag team titles. And so they're going to be tough to beat in this tournament, but not going to shock me at all if it goes the other way. I'm going to play the part of Doc, like I said I would here. I'm just going to be the contrarian on this. So. I look at Hawks RE as a team that, as we've seen happen recently, it's father and son. And they always were more of a tag team than a father and son duo. But as of late, when we've seen them, you know, Luke has almost, I don't know, really played the aggressive parent with PJ, as I've been seeing during matches, calling him out when he's making mistakes. You should be doing this. You should be doing that. You know, I, I've heard him you could call it coaching. You call it parenting, whatever it is. But the end are one unit. They have nothing to prove to each other, but I really do feel that PJ has something to prove to his father and that could kind of make him dangerous. I mean, we're talking about a kid. We've seen the clip before. One of the things that got PJ national attention was him jumping off the second story of a mall during a wrestling match. I mean, if he feels like he needs to prove something to his father in this match, even against the end, that recklessness could actually be the thing that gets them a win. Mm. Well said, Kyle. You're, you're on fire today. I love it. Um, another match that's happening on that side of the brackets is going to be strictly business versus gold rush. Uh, these are two, uh, this is another solid matchup. That's what I love about the Crockett cup, strictly business and gold rush. Two teams. We love to see strictly business, obviously the, uh, the bullies on the playground, I think, uh, for the most part of the National Wrestling Alliance. But Idol Mania Sports Management, of course, here, Gold Rush, uh, they've been asserting themselves pretty well in the NWA uh, as, a, as a powerful force to be reckoned with, wouldn't you say? I mean, I'll bring it up right now. You've got Chris Adonis. He just lost the National Championship. You got Tom Latimer and Nick Aldis. I quit match. Nobody's coming out of that if we're a better person. So you've got people that are not of the best state of mind physically or mentally going into this match. On the opposite side, you've got Marche Rocket, who has been on a roll since joining Austin Idol. And, and frankly, Clearwater, the golden boy, has just been an upswing ever since. You've got two people coming up with a streak, and you've got two people that, you know, again, not the best mentally or physically situation for them. So I'm going with Gold Rush. Mm. I don't know if that was there ages. <laughs> well, I I am uh, not trying to be the contrarian, See? Um, but in this in this instance, I am. You you were the pre contrarian here because uh, I, I see what you're saying about strictly business and their their uh, run of bad luck as of late. But strictly business is uh, a team that. I, I just feel like that's not going to affect them as much as it would somebody else. Um, and I think they're coming into this thing to win it. And um, I think that, you know, Gold Rush, they are a great team individually. These are great uh, competitors. Marche Rocket, you're right. He's been on a tear uh, since he's joined forces with Idomania. But, um, I, you know, I don't know if they can work together as a team as effectively as Strictly Business. I see Strictly Business uh, getting pretty far in this tournament, if not making it to the finals. So um, I would say Strictly Business. All right. Here we be the tiebreaker. What's going to happen? 
Man, uh, you know, at the end of the day, your I always, friend or the guy that you work with every day is neutral. Pick one. You got to stay neutral, buddy. I go, I go strictly business. I never bet against them. Uh, I, I think <laughs> when we did our first initial bracket uh, breakdown, we were trying to fill out our brackets. I had strictly business all the way, so uh, that's. Uh, I'm going to stick with them. I think they're they got a lot to prove right now. They know they're the best. Now they got to show it, and so. Uh, I'm looking this little to E that popped up on the screen has a good point here. Tom Latimer has the Crockett Cup experience. That is accurate, though. Mm-hmm. He was one of the yep. wild cards. Team yeah, that went all the way I to the final. Close to my heart. Yeah, I went all the good way. Good call, the Eric Dale. Yeah, Eric. I also Dale. like purple, so that's a good color choice. Let's get one more of the uh, the bracket matchups uh, on the well on the left side of the brackets. I guess I should say. Uh, a big announcement came earlier this week uh, or at the end of last week when uh, we found out that Doug Williams had to replace his partner and he chose Harry Smith, the son of the great Davy Boy Smith, the British Bulldog. Uh, Harry Smith himself, a former NWA tag team champion, former IWGP tag team champion, former WWE tag team champion. Doug Williams went all out. And, and, I, and I love these guys. God help me, I do. I saw Rush Freeman in the chat. I love you too, Rush, and uh, Alex Taylor, Yuma, Jeremiah Plunk. I love you all. But this, what a team. What a team in the first round. You poor guys. This is, this is, I, I'm sorry. This feels dirty. I think this is the one that we're all going to agree upon. <laughs> I, I don't think there's any room for contrarian. I mean, I'm looking, I'm looking at Alex there, looking all jacked and, and muscular with that great hair and beard. You got Rush just also looking amazing. And then you got Hume in the background, out of this world, literally. And then Plunkett, who is just a, a talent that is just people sleep on it, but really the man's unstoppable. You know, any combination of those two people against the tag team, you know, they have something to fight. But when you look at Doug Williams and Harry Smith and you look at everything they are, and you even are just in the same room as them or standing next to them, uh, I'm sorry, but they are the ill begotten. No doubt about it. There's no way they're getting past Doug Williams and Harry Smith. And people are going to think, are, are they saying this so much because something's going to happen? No, I, I I don't even think that there's a chance. A meteor will hit the earth before the ill begotten have a chance in this match. And I really hope I didn't just jinx it because this clip's going to end up on the internet. And they're going to be like, Kyle Davis called the destruction of the planet right before it happened. And I'll be a pariah. Never mind. Ill begotten. Either way. No. Well, and, and will there? There's Santa. Santa Vols in the chat, and he brings up an yeah. interesting point. Uh, who will wrestle for the Hopicotton? Rush might hire some yeah. temporary members. He's done it before the Fixers, so we've seen him. Oh my God, that's fixers. true. Wait, hold on. Maybe the Hopicotton have a chance. So there's there is that. I love that their chance is the Hopicotton gets somebody who's not currently in the Hopicotton. <laughs> I mean, why lie? <laughs> uh, Will, are you are you disputing any of that? By the way, uh, no, I'm not. Obviously, not not disputing any of that. Um, I'm you know I've already got heat with the ill begotten, so it's it's nothing for me at this point. Um, yeah, that one's as Doc would say, a mathematical equation in my book. And Rush does have an impeccable mullet. You are right, Goose Hudson. He does. He does. Great. If name. it was a I mullet competition. If it was a mullet competition, I would I would swing the other way. But I uh, oh, imagine Doug Williams with a mullet. <laughs> one thing I don't want to have to deal with is a lawsuit against our show. And one way that we get that is if we don't mention the NWA shop here, nationalwrestlingalliance.com slash shop. All that great merch, that cool 605, uh, the, the hoodie. It's a lightweight hoodie. And, and you can't beat the design on that NWA USA shirt. And of course, there's probably a reason I bring up all of these things, and that's because uh, I knew somewhere waiting in the wings. Somehow, I guess he he somebody is leaking the link or something. But, oh no! Uh, oh, deals. Hey, <laughs> what's the gig? Actually, I've got that. Sweet, uh, can you see it? I got that sweet zip hoodie on right now. It's so comfortable. But uh, you know, I heard you guys on here. Oh, there's old Kyle Lover. Look at you. I literally had a moment where I was questioning. I was like, can I see myself in your glasses? And I went, that's not how this works. Well, it's a computer. But, and, and by the way, guys, I'll have to say, don't sleep on the ill begotten. You know, young Alex Taylor's been coming by the deal's house. We've been working out. Uh, we're, uh, uh, we've been listening to the Bloodsport soundtrack. You know, never surrender and all that. So uh, 
he's getting pumped up. So you guys, you know, That's good you can't stuff, sleep actually. on them. You know who else you can't sleep on though? Two, you know, I'm not really from parts of no, you know, I know you guys think that, but I'm actually from Cleveland, Ohio. And there's a team coming from Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, you guys just don't talk about him enough. I mean, I don't know what the heat is, why you don't like Maserati West or Josh Bishop. You know, you guys just aren't talking about him. I mean, what's the, what's the problem here? You know, I was well, just yeah. talking about them, actually, uh, earlier tonight. Just say something. I'm talking about that they might have a grievance, and you're just making me think that I was right now, that they do have a grievance. I, Nobody I wasn't watching the show. Maserati West did come up earlier, and we were talking about uh, Absolute Intense Wrestling, and we were talking about Matt Cardona over there. And uh, I think you're saying that just because I'm on here, bro. <laughs> you know, I might have. You know what? I've actually I, – I, uh, I, I gave Wes a deal on the link. So, you know, he should be in here. Why don't you go look in your little queue right there? Hey, oh Danny, Danny Deals, hey, I got the done. link. I got oh, the link. Man. I'm, He's I'm stealing links right out now. now. <laughs> yeah, I'm in my car on the way to the studio because I wanted to do it in person, but Danny Deals sent me the link. So, yeah. Well, I mean, this is a big deal for you. So, literally, you have the ability to win the Crockett Cup. Did you think a month ago this was even something on the horizon? No, I did not know, but I will say this. Myself and Joshua Bishop are the two best singles wrestlers, so as a team, we got to be the best tag team. And there's no better, there's no more prestigious title than the Crockett Cup. So it's only right we're in it. Mm -hmm. I yeah. want you to be safe when you're on the road, by the way, because you're Thank multitasking you. like a madman. Hey, multitasking is my middle name. Yeah, but again, that's part of being a tag team. team. You got to do what your partner's doing. <laughs> Absolutely. Josh Bishop's bench pressing 500 pounds for reps right now. Oh, my God. Man. That is insane. We always know what we and each other are doing. Yeah. What do you, you on route two? I can tell you where the speed traps are. <laughs> exactly. I'm about to. I think you just sent me the one. I just passed it. We're all good. We're all yeah, good. See? We'll be in Nashville next weekend. Yes, yeah. sir. You can shake them through Dead Man's Curve. They won't follow you if you go Absolutely. over 45. <laughs> hey, remember the last time you were in Cleveland? We were partying around Dead Man's Curve. That's a different story for a different day. Dude. Yeah, that's yeah. That's no shoot interviews here for these guys over here. No, no, none of that. <laughs> what is happening? What is going on here? I was going to ask: Is there a particular team that you're hoping to meet during the Crockett Cup in the ring? I mean, you brought it up earlier. The Cardonas. I know it's not Matt and Chelsea, but we got uh, we got me and Josh Bishop got issues with Matt Cardona. Um, I'm going to give you guys a breaking scoop right now. This has never been seen before, and I think it's only right I announce it here. Whoa. But two weeks ago, me and Matt Cardona one-on-one -on -one at AIW for all the gold. The day before, he won the 10 pounds of gold. And uh, I pinned him for 10 seconds, but the referee was knocked out. You know how that stuff goes. Hmm. But for some reason, after the match that Chelsea interfered in, he cut my hair. No. And since Whoa. I debuted in 2018... I've been voted the best hair in the biz three years running, and I'm still going to win it this year. But right now, we're talking multitasking. I'm switching lanes, but I'm also going to show the hair. That's just a quick, that's a quick, cool. I that was going to say, you look very different when you're because driving at night. Haircut. But that's what it was. The hair, it's gone. He's got hair. You ain't got no yes, hair, sir. Kyle. Not yeah, I know. That's why it really upsets me when people get their haircut hair. deals. It's, it's a, I take it personally. I feel for you, but you look yeah. great either way. Thank you. I appreciate that. Tremendous. So yeah, how eight, does a guy eight, like who, he, who does he make that eight by 10 out to Kyle lover? Or Kate yeah. Lover? Yeah. I don't know where he got this lover thing from, but that's okay. That's, that's his okay. rap name, Wes. He was a rapper a long time ago. Don't let him lie. No, my yeah. rap name is kid Kennedy cut. Get it right. Cause I'm from Ooh. Connecticut. You just oh, you spell is... it out and I'll sign it. But really <laughs> you got to get the PayPal. All right. Oh yeah. I got, figure that I got out. his Venmo too. I, I, he, I got a deal on uh, his information the other day. Perfect, so I can just, perfect. I can give it to you. You know what I mean? Oh. I'm looking in the chat right here, and I'm seeing Heat Seekers might be the dark horse to win. And well, that's, uh, That was going to be my next question for, for Wes here is, like, yeah. he's, he's jumping into this play-in, and uh, he's going up against – I mean, you got four teams you're dealing with here. Right. Uh, uh, you guys, obviously, and then Violence is Forever, the Heat Seekers, and Bad News Boys. All yeah. in one match to earn your spot to just to get to round one of the Crockett Cup and face the NWA Tag Team Champions. But right. I just got to ask, I mean, is there is there a strategy that goes into or Like, how are you looking at this? this is it a well, four first and foremost, team? yeah, first and foremost, that graphic looks great and the Rip City shooters are looking like a million bucks. So let's just get that out of the way. But another thing about Rip City that people don't know is that we do our best when the odds are stacked against us. 
So every other team to win the Crockett Cup only needs to win four times. But since we're in the playing game, Rip City has to win five. We like it like that. That's that's cool with me. Our new nickname is going to be the Wild Cards after this. Um, but, yeah, let's break it down. Uh, we've been in the ring with violences forever before. Uh, Kevin Koo and Dominic Greeny, we've been in the ring with them. They are a hard-working tag team. They might be the hardest-hitting tag team, and they both have chips on their shoulders. But – They've never beat us. And some people might think they beat us in Indiana. We talked to the commission. It's overturned. They never beat us. And Pete be careful, Seekers, uh, Dom's right kick. I've heard he sprays a little tenactin on his toes, so when it kicks you, it gives you a little spark. Oh, so yeah. Just be, be, be careful. Tough I've heard, tack I got and tenactin. Tip. I got that tip. I'm just saying. Rest in peace, John Madden. Tough tack cool and tenactin. Um, but that's a good deal right there. That's a good tip. I, appreciate I like that, that he brings value he, everywhere he goes. Yes, sir. Uh, the heat seekers though, they got to be the most experienced team in the, in the thing, um, in the wild card matchup. And I know they really have a chip on their shoulder as well because they want the belts. Then. So there's a good story there, but a little known fact, Danny deals hooked me up with my guy, Sean Schultz, who did a little scouting report on the heat seekers. And I've been, I've been studying those guys for years. Yeah, so yeah. Sigmund brother, I've been studying you for years. So I know the heat seekers like the back of my hand. They don't expect That's that. That's right. And uh, last but not least, this is another breaking scoop. I hired a, a private investigator. I'm not allowed to say too much to do a little more research on all these teams. And I actually saw the Bad News Boys leaving a plastic surgery a place. I don't know, plastic surgery doctor. So I'm trying to get down to the bottom. Are they really even twins? Because me and Josh Bishop are brothers. We're like Edge and Christian. We're like Bubba Ray and Devon. We're like undertaker and kane yeah okay? real brothers. but the actual brothers. real brothers. brothers but the twins <laughs> people talk about they got real brother chemistry but after after i heard that leak about them being at the plastic surgery office i don't i don't know if that's true so it's gonna be it's gonna be uh an explosion of talent it's gonna be it's gonna be a hot opener for the beginning of, right where the first match in there I gotta be honest with you. Right now, I didn't have a favorite going into this match, but you've you've won me over. I am a fan. I like the personality. I like the look. I like the whole thing. Thank Rip you. City Takeover all day. Yes, sir. He did his research. I like hashtag Rip City Takeover. Yes, Nobody sir. All the way to the top. He's hiring PIs. I mean, this is that's this what is I'm doing. doing. All sometimes you got to do that. You know? Danny Deals got me a guy. Yeah, you got you got to have scouting report, guys. You got to know the injury report. Just yeah, like I knew that Doc was out today with a strained left earlobe, and I knew oh. that Kyle was coming off the bench, even though he's rehabbing his strained <laughs> left toe. But it's okay; he was questionable, and we upgraded him to you know. It's, it's cool. Toe. I'm in recovery mode. Uh, sponsor, not a sponsor, just yeah. a delicious beverage. Kyle was born with. We got to get him toe. off the IR. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you. I mean, it's you know, without the Doc, I mean, it, we can still make the playoffs, but it's tough. Doc's Doc's in the there chat though. He's over here. I know he's in the how... chat. He plays hurt, guys. I mean, that's you guys undervalue the Doc. I'm telling you. He's talking about Maserati West having the algorithm down, and we're living oh, in the days all. of the Rip City revival. Hey, I gotta be honest, Maserati. I, I, like I said, I'm becoming a fan. I, I have to ask: Is Maserati your given birth name? It's my given nickname. They saw me wrestle one match, <laughs> and they go, "That guy wrestles like a Maserati." I'm more of a. I'm not gonna talk about my favorite car. But I'm driving a Mercedes Benz right now. That's all. That's all I can say. But I think the Maserati uh, fits how I wrestle, how I do business, and how I live life. But great question. Um, by the way, the chat's thinking what I'm doing. Maserati West does an interview while driving. This guy's good. Yeah, you're looking all over the place. I just like was you took the wrong parking. turn down to ten five. Or something. <laughs> Look at that. He oh, can answer the question parallel. out of the blue. No. Parallel park at the same time. The man's unstoppable. And when it comes to Crockett Cup, he's going to be able to bring all that to the ring. Join us March 19th and 20th, the Crockett Cup. Nashville, Tennessee. Tickets available. NWATicks.com. Can't be there. Go to Fight TV. Fight.tv. Order it on there. Anyway, yes, sorry. Sir. I just felt like you were about all No, no, you I'm about a, I got access, seven. Per, I got about 6% battery, so I might leave you with something right here, right? Why do I have okay. 6% battery before the biggest interview of 2022 for me? Because all day I was looking at flights to Honolulu, Hawaii for seven. That's me, Josh Bishop, and five of the most beautiful women in Nashville. Because I'm booking the flight for 
the 21st. And what else are we bringing with us? The Crockett Cup. So if you think I'm celebrating early, so be it. I make plans in advance because Maserati West is two steps ahead. Nashville, Fairgrounds, be there, be square. And remember, there's no squares in my circle, and you can bet on that. I'm going to be online friends with you. I'm sending you requests right now. <laughs> Let's, go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's right. go. Maserati West, thanks right, for well, being here, man. We appreciate your time. Thanks for having me on. We'll be in touch soon, and I'll see you guys next Saturday. Danny Deals, I'll hit you up a yeah, little Danny. later, brother, all right? All righty. And by the way, we're already following each other, real talk. But I just, literally, you, you get to meet people on here, and you're like, I, I'm now literally pulling for the Rip City Shooters, and I wasn't before this conversation. Well, you might as well let the world know online that we're, we're still going here. We got Danny Deals still in the house. We got uh, – we, we, we've got a whole card of Crockett Cup we haven't even talked about. I don't even know when this show's ever going to end. And then Danny Dills, just, I, I, I'm seeing what you're doing, Danny, and I don't know how you're pulling this off, but it's getting talking? a little ridiculous. I, I, uh, yeah, I, just, I, I sold the link to a few people on Black Market. Why? Okay, so might as well. He's he's knocking at the door. Uh, yeah. Matt Sigmund is here now, everybody. There he is. <laughs> What's up, goes. everyone? That's <laughs> all the guests. Yeah, of course. You know, I see people talking about Crockett Cup activity, and so my ear starts itching a little bit, and I got to hop in. Well, welcome. I'm the guest host here, so it looks like, you know, everybody's having new experiences tonight. What's it like looking at the card and seeing who you have to compete with to advance in the tournament? And then you look at the people in the tournament. I know you're out for, for your Crockett Cup and, you know, the redemption of everything, but how are you feeling about this? You know, um, I've said this before. I've said this a couple of times recently, too. We're used to high pressure situations. You know, we've been in some of uh, some really intense ones and this is no different. It's another day at the office for us, but it is something special because we have a lot on the line here. Uh, stepping back into the NWA for the first time in five years, something like that. It's been a hot minute. So uh, it's, it's a different challenge and I'm excited about it because we're not scared of competition. Competition's not something we're ever afraid of. And NWA looks to be delivering it across the board on the entire cup. And so I, I'm excited to see potential opportunities here. One thing I love about the Heat Seekers right now is these guys are already all over it, too. We heard a lot from Maserati West there and, and the guys talking a lot of game. The Heat Seekers are out there blowing up social media, constantly at work. In fact, uh, with respect, Mr. Sigmund, if I can, I'm going to show uh, you, you. You sent us over a clip earlier, and uh, I can't think of a better time than right now to show it uh, right here. Roll that show. beautiful bean footage, man. Hey, wrestling fans, White Lightning and Tim Horner here, and I am here with the Heat Seekers. And guys, you have the opportunity of a lifetime to be able to wrestle as a tag team in the biggest tournament in decades, and I'm talking about the NWA Jim Crockett Cup in Nashville, Tennessee. Now, I happen to know a lot about the Jim Crockett Cup because I was actually in the first Jim Crockett Cup in Baltimore, Maryland in 1986, I think it was. Mike Rotundo was my partner, and we didn't win, but we made our mark. So, guys, it's an opportunity, as I said. Money, prestige, the belts, and the cup. All of it. All of it, Tim. We've been at the top and held NWA World Tag Team Gold, not once, not twice, not three times, but four times. But it's been years since we've stepped in an NWA ring. You've seen it, you've had the experience of living it, and we are coming to the Crockett Cup and do what we do best, and that is Tag Team Wrestle. That's right, the Heat Seekers representing PWX, Nashville, Tennessee, the Crockett Cup. The Heat Seekers gonna win the play-in. Each and every round is a victory till the Heat Seekers take home the NWA Crockett Cup. We'll see you there. We're, we're, we're seeing uh, already in the chat, people are like, bring Tim Horner. <laughs> Brother, if you want to line it up, we'll bring Tim Horner, Dr. Tom Pritchard, Dennis Condry. Doesn't matter. We've got enough people in our corner that's helping us, you know, cut things out and get ready for this cup. So bring them on. So I'm going to bring this up right now just because I'm, I'm, I'm here. You're here. Um, 
I remember back in the day, you and I pretty much broke in around the same freaking time. Because did you not used to do dark matches with Ring of Honor when I was? Yeah, yeah, we're old, Kyle. Um, I, I literally, no, no, no. You are you still look great and are still in shape and everything like that. But in my head, I'm thinking, I swear this is the same person I remember. By in, way, in my head, I'm looking and thinking, look how far you've come. You're going to be in the Crockett Cup. So for me, I'm never going to be in the Crockett Cup. I'm looking at this going, this guy made it. This guy's living the dream. Wrestling is a wild roller coaster, uh, especially. By the way, Kyle, I was there with Sigtosis, and we were undefeated. We took out three ninjas. We did. I took out two ninjas in a single stroke. Yeah, and what was that, like Indianapolis? Uh, Yes, we were were undefeated, Kyle. We are. It's it's just one of those things where you you think about it, and it – I'm actually pulling for you guys now because I know the work you've put into, the oh, effort you've put into, and everything else. I'm jumping back and forth. Maserati, I'm sorry you're a cool guy, but now I'm going with the heat seekers. You got front I saw, Maserati, I saw Maserati talking about his hair, and you got jealous about it, and then you joined their group. And, and you know, whatever. I'm a coward. Dragon Kyle. I'm a coward. <laughs> you know, if you want to hop on this train, Kyle, that's totally fine because I think it's going to take you places, man. Well, I'm seeking heat, and I think I found it. Heat Seekers Crockett Cup, they're taking the thing now. Damn right. He, Damn he right. ironed a Rams logo over his Patriots shirt. You know, that's Kyle. <laughs> the front row. I don't know what football is. Yeah. Uh, hey, Gary, turn your mic hey, on. I can give you a deal for that if you want. You got you got Sig Tosis here. And you're, he, <laughs> I accidentally he brought myself in the center screen. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't, he I was did starstruck not want to take. by Tosis. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was trying to figure out how to get myself and not step on uh, Mr. Sigmund's toes here. I, I definitely yeah. do not want to do that. You know, I'm always studying the, the game, and I'm always studying competition. So if you guys were in Heat Seeker's shoes, because I want, I want to pick your brain here, uh, who do we need to be taking a look at as we dive into the cup here in just less than two weeks? Who do we need to take the last few weeks here that we've got and spend some time studying tape on because you know we're all about being ready for competition? What's, what's the, the what's the status here? The smart man here trying to use the inside track. I respect that. That's why I'm heat seekers all day. We'll throw that bracket up on the screen there. You can see it. Uh, so we'll 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 play this as though we're assuming the heat seekers are moving right into round number one, and uh, and then you know well I, I guess then the only thing you need to be concerned about is La Rebellion. They're the uh, current NWA World's Tag Team Champions, which might leave a sour taste in your mouth, I guess, at this point. You know, it, it, it Are you just looking bad. past violence is forever? Is that no, no, no. I just said if we assume they uh, get into round one. I try to cover my bases. Uh, Cal brought him on board, too. Gary's on board now. So now all we got to do is convince <laughs> Will here. Uh, to yeah. hop on the heat train. Will's got a bad news boys poster in the back. Well, I'm about to actually kind of say something disappointing with La Rebellion. If you can get through that playing match and you get to La Rebellion, they're the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. And I know that the uh, the tag team titles are something that is is really a point of contention, but I, that's a team that's on fire. I, I hate to say it. They are. You're going to have your work cut out for you even in that first round. Of course, they're on fire, Kyle, because they wouldn't have the tag team gold if they weren't on fire to begin with. That's kind of how it lays the land. You know, the champions are always the ones that are on fire at the moment. Is this going where I think it's going? If if Heat Seekers make it to that point, we're going to see who should be tag team champions still because technically, new office or not, we never truly lost the tag team gold. Four-time NWA World Tag Team Champions. Now, if we go up against La Rebellion, of course, it's going to be a challenge. But we're going to see a matchup that I think would deliver from bell to bell. And we would take them to the limit because they've been the team for the past several months that we have been studying. We have been paying attention to. And I'm ready for that one specifically. So would you say if the team is on fire, fire creates heat, heat seekers, bam, heat seekers go into the fire and it's all full circle. Storytelling 101, Kyle. You just connected the dots. And so now you're very proud of yourself. I think they're going to be unstoppable, guys. Moving on. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, and I guess uh, to to Danny Deals's point, uh, one thing the Heat Seekers can't lo- look past is violence is forever. Bad news, boys, or the Rip City Shooters. Those are the uh, your your immediate threats. So that's going to be a big team. I, it, no, I assume based on what Wes was saying, you've you've had matches with some of these guys in the past and everything. But what what happens in your mind with all the experience you have? When you're stepping in there and there's a big four-way 
match. I mean, this is a, a bigger deal. And, and presumably, like we, we, we had Camille on earlier in the show, and she's defending her title in a triple threat. And presumably, you might not even have to be involved at all in, in this matchup. That's true. We might not even tag in. But no, of course we're going to be involved, and of course we're going to do our <laughs> spoken our like job. a true veteran. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, 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 meant, I meant to say involved go, in the Elliot, decision. Go, yeah, go Elliot, go. Yeah, I mean Elliot might not even become legal in this. Country. It's happened before, um, but you know the way I see it is you you have great tag teams. There's four great tag teams in this match, including ourselves, and all of these guys have something to prove right now because everyone here wants that spot, wants that piece of the puzzle in the actual Crockett Cup, wants to go to the finals, wants to take home the absolute mega trophy here and call themselves the best tag team in the NWA today. And that's that's nothing small. That is something that every team is truly going to care about. And so it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be hard. But, but like I said, high-pressure situations don't bother us. The other teams are probably going to be walking in and they're going to have a little bit of doubt in their mind. If they don't, they should. But we're going to walk in that ring just like we do night in, night out, four to five nights a week. High pressure situation. We're ready to roll. So I'm not I'm not uh, worried about this one. Gotcha. I think we lost deals right there and there. No, I'm here. Oh, no, no, no. He was. He, no, what deals was doing deal. is it. Yeah, it, no, you're not kidding. I mean, I th you think we're joking around, but no, Deals is out here, and he has somehow given a deal on the link to this show to someone else. People, it's happening again. It's happening again. It's happening again. Yeah. Matt, I think you're tagging out. No, 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 he, no he's staying. Deals, Let him stay. Oh, he's staying? Oh, this is going to get good. Oh, Deals, no, Deals said don't great. take Matt out. Leave him in and bring in this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, brother. Hey, you know, I mean, I said it before, shoes who need shoes. I say that with respect because you are a dangerous man that I fear. Hey, Dominic, I by the way, Kyle was just saying the heat seekers don't got nothing to worry about in that play, and they're going to smoke you. It was, no, no, we were talking about another thing, and uh, you can't trust deals. You know deals. I want to see where this goes because now Kyle has the pressure of two teams here represented. <laughs> two at the same time, right? I mean, it's 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 great when there's somebody seeking some heat. However, when you go with something that is eternal and lasts forever, sometimes violence is the way, they say. Um, we live in a world that's not a pleasant place to be at times. And unfortunately, it takes violent men with violent actions to be successful. And we have one down here in the corner of the screen. Dominic, thanks for joining the pod. Hey guys, thanks for uh, thanks for having me. Um, I do wear shoes now, so oh. that is that is a uh, thing that has been kind of like two years in the making. I've been wearing shoes since I came back at the pan like when the pandemic started. So I will be uh, not barefoot anymore. <laughs> gotcha. Well, see, I was wrong. I can admit when I'm wrong, everybody. All right. Okay. All right. Well, that's a but first. Kyle, you're, you're still right about the heat seekers. On. Yeah. Did Either way. Did you hear that? Siggy's saying that it's over for you. He said, uh, him and uh, Elia, they're going to just run right through you. What do you think about that? Uh, I mean, good luck, guys. I mean, you know, Ka Kevin and I, we respect everybody that we go in there with, but we also have the absolute mindset that we are the best tag team in the world right now. Um, you know, we've honed our craft here on the independence for the last three plus years. Three time independent wrestling TV tag team of the year winners. You know, we've gone and been in the WXW Tag League in Germany. Currently, three titles held um, on the independent scene: Black Label Pro, Action Wrestling, and Southern Underground Pro. Been Southern Underground Pro tag team champions for over, over a thousand days. Uh, about to wrestle in Canada for the C4 tag titles. So our resume speaks for itself. But you know, anybody who wants to step up, that's what this is about. You know, a playing game or a playing match like this is exactly that. You know, we're playing in for this opportunity that I, I really think that the four teams in the plan quite possibly are better than some of the teams that are already in the tournament. Ooh. So um, it is what it is. I mean, you know, you've got the heat seekers, you know, who have got quite a storied history, you know, on the independence, especially in the Southern kind of territories, you know, rip city who, if you don't know this, I trained those two guys. Um, so those two guys are rising stars in the independent wrestling game right now. You know, Josh Bishop, recent WWE tryout. So Dominic, uh, Dominic, you taught them everything they know. Did you teach them everything you know? Absolutely not. Come on. That's that's first rule of being a good trainer. You got to keep a couple of uh, things in the back pocket just in case. 
the rationale of all this, I'm, I'm now I'm a rational man. I go with the answers. Dom, you've had all the answers. You have pitched me on this. I think you guys could go all the way. And to be completely honest with you, I, I've seen your in-ring style. And I could definitely see you guys being able to surpass La Rebellion in that match. So it's not just the fact that I think you're going to go far. I literally can see you beating them in the ring where I might not be able to envision that with the other teams in that. Well, so you, you believe this? You know, I, I'm sitting here listening to Kyle, you know, run his mouth. And <laughs> he seems like the person you really don't want as a friend. So um, <laughs> I don't even think it justifies response. Just watching how wishy-washy he is here, too. I'm, it, it's sad, really. It's pathetic. But, I, you know, I, I really like, hope if we get a matchup where like Kyle has to face off with everyone he chose that doesn't go to the next round, they get to go into another match <laughs> against Kyle. That's uh, that's night two. <laughs> that's on night two, exactly. But to, to Kyle's point on La Rebellion, you know, Mecha Wolf, Bestia, two great luchadors. But how do you cut down two luchadors? You put them against two strikers and two grapplers, and that's what Kevin and I do best. Kevin's the striking, I'm the grappling, and I'm no slouch when it comes to striking either. So, but La Rebellion is so far, you know, kind of out there. You know, you can't look past the three teams in this play-in uh, match at all. Siggy, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still sitting here trying to process all the titles and stuff he mentioned when he was running down the resume, but you know. When we get in this match, regardless of who's in it, it's the Bad News Boys and Rip City Shooters and yourself, Dominic, and your partner and everybody. I, I'm ready for whatever happens bell to bell. It doesn't matter. I'm training night in, night out, day in, day out. You can get in on the Same. internet, look and see wherever we're at. And we're doing tag team matches every single night Same. for this. And, He's got uh, weights behind him. <laughs> yeah. You know, see, the thing about wrestling, and it's kind of different these days, a lot of guys don't think you have to get to the gym. And so I bring the gym to me. Um, so that, uh, yeah, it's a little bit different of an approach from uh, a lot of people that uh, try. But, you know, here we are. So, I gave him a deal on those weights, too. I got him started in power. He did. He Way did. Back. He's got the best deals. And, I'm, he, you know, deals. This is getting good. personal. That felt like a very personal comment. Push it, push it. But I'll tell you what. I'm out of here, boys. I'm sick of Kyle kind of being disrespectful from wishy-washy team picking and uh, – I wish you guys the best in the rest of this show. Will, you're a professional. Gary, you're all right. Uh, and then I'll see the rest of you guys later. Dominic, I'll see you on the 19th. The 19th, bud. Oh. Hmm. Well, well, I'm, we'll still, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still here, gents. So yeah. fire it away. I'm, I'm ready to answer whatever you guys got. I just feel like you literally have all the information. You, you can sell me on anything. Like, literally, going into this, I wasn't going to flip-flop like everybody thinks I was. I was, I was dead set on my choice. Yeah. But then listening to well, you. He's got a Rip City tattoo, Dom. Don't let him lie to you. <laughs> I, if, if he was going to have a tattoo of anybody, I, I love Josh. I love Wes. Like I said. He trained him. Like he said. I'm just, that shows I'm supporting him even more. Hey, Josh Bishop once tried to light me on fire. So you're not going to hear anything from me, you know, talking bad about those guys. You're not going to hear Kevin and I talk bad about anybody in this match because that's not our style. We go out and we perform. And the thing about it is, is we've been doing that on the highest level for the last three years, you know, and that's the thing. The heat seekers, you know, Sigmund might talk about, oh, you know, I'm working out, I'm doing this. Well, Kevin and I are working out every day. We're, I'm going and I'm in the ring multiple times a day. I'm in the ring multiple times every weekend wrestling, you know. So th there's not an advantage in that regard. Maybe if you want to look at, like, skill of resume of some of the teams that, you know, we've all gone against in the last couple of years. I mean, there's not a team that Kevin and I haven't gone against in the last couple of years. So there's nothing that no team can throw out there that we aren't ready for and hell even when you look at it we beat rip city in a in a tag match in 2020 so mm. i look at things like that i look at things like like i said like our strength of our resume i mean last year alone you know wins again or uh matches against like fin juice matches against butcher and the blade matches against ozzy open uh, literally the creme de la creme the creme de la creme of independent wrestling right now and even tv wrestling right now we have wrestled almost all of those people. So that's the thing. It's crazy. I got to yeah. ask you the same question I ask everybody. I mean, when mm -hmm. you get in there, I mean, you, you, you talk about your experience with these guys uh, all, you know, head to head in tag team competition, but then now you've got like four at the same time. This is, this is a whole different, it feels like it would be a different strategy. Are, are you and uh, Kevin familiar with this kind of a matchup? Yeah, I mean, we, we've had multiple matches where it's it's multiple teams, and it, it it's just 
You guys do all that wild stuff at Southern Underground Pro, no? Yeah. Uh, We have, you know, probably one of our most famous Southern Underground Pro tag matches would be myself and and Kev versus former AEW star Marco Stun and Cabana Man Dan. The match got extremely violent. It was actually to crown the first set of of, uh, Southern Underground Pro tag champs. So it, nothing really phases Kevin and I. We've kind of seen it all, whether it be my experience in hardcore wrestling, whether it be just Kevin being one of the most well-versed wrestlers in the world right now. I, I just don't, like I said, as much as I think all the three of these other teams are very skilled, I truly believe that we hold the advantage over kind of just the idea of our resume, our activity, and kind of the big matches we've had over the last couple of years. And Kevin always has very colorful hair. He does. He does. I think he, I think it's going to be a little a little blonde, but I'm not sure. I'll be rocking the uh, the mullet, you know, come the crop of cups. So we'll see. Uh, I mean, we're going to win best hair probably. So, what do you think, Kyle? I'm I'm definitely thinking if the world is ran by badasses and it ends up being a battle of the badasses, I can't see a better Crockett final than Violence Is Forever and the Briscoe Brothers. Opposite and, and sides, collashing right in the middle. And that's a dream match for Kevin and I. I mean, I I let it be well known. A lot of my wrestling experience is I was raised on 2002 Ring of Honor through two, through 2008, and there's no better tag team during that era besides that. Uh, Roddy and and Roddy and Aries are pretty good, but the Briscoes kind of are the king and the Kings of Wrestling as well. But the Briscoes kind of ran that shit. Back you are to speaking to me right now, now, sir. So like. <laughs> Hopefully Billy pays for the money so that they can give me back my bullets on pay-per-view. Um, I'm, I'm praying, Billy, please pay for that. He's, even if I'm not wrestling the Briscoes, I want to be there for that entrance. But <clears throat> but that's the thing. And that's that's actually kind of like an even bigger thing for Kevin and I is the fact that we, to, to wrestle the Briscoes, we have to make it to the finals. So we know every match matters to get that match that we ultimately won. Will, you got any questions? You've been quiet. Intimidation. No, I'm, 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 I'm producing right now. I'm trying to get this out in the Twitter verse and uh, uh, toss some comments right, on the right. screen. Big so money I'm just will. taking it all in. Take it. Will, take will, it. Like a, he plays the producer role. He chimes in. You know, we throw it to him when we, we need him to Google something. I'm, <laughs> I'm just, I'm the pretty one. All right. Now the Kyle's the cheerleader. So. I got. Ra ra ra. Yeah. And oh. did you, did you tell him about my deals on the website or did you not? I, I that's how I introduced you, Danny. Okay, all right. Just check in. I don't know. Madame might not know. You know, you didn't tell Siggy. You know, he might not know. You know. Okay. Well, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, there you go, go to uh, nationalwrestlingalliance.com slash shop, and you get all those great deals. Follow Danny Deals uh, on it's it's at NWA Merch now, right? Like you got your own like little just for the shop. Uh, the boys run that one. You know, Vin and Chach mm-hmm. and Maddie. But uh, yeah, I'm there as well. Okay, I don't I don't know who any of those people are, but <laughs> <laughs> you got to pay attention, bro. What's the with you? Oh man, uh, well, so uh, the Briscoes, I, I guess, uh, Dominic, that would be the team you're looking forward to most. Is there anybody else that, in particular, that you've been interested in going up against? Um, that, yeah. OGK comes to mind. Uh, another Ring of Honor kind of uh, product produced team. Also, I know Kev's got some uh, experience with Matt Taven. When Kevin was trained, he was trained in the Boston area, so I know he spent some time with Taven. So I think that would be an interesting segue there too. Um, also, the British, uh, the, the Brits, uh, Doug Williams is like an all-time, you know, we talk about those eras of Ring of Honor. Doug Williams is an all-time favorite. I'm fam- familiar with Davey Boy Jr. pretty mu- pretty well from our time in MLW. Well, so they might not get ones. past you, be God. I'm just saying. So, yeah. no, we're, he, he, no, he's the only one who's saying that. <laughs> no, no, but, listen, Dom, you understand this, man. I'm telling you, Alex is working out at the deal's house. He's listening to the. I got, I got the uh, the blood sports soundtrack on. I was trying to get the boys to sing it earlier. They don't know it. You know, the, fight to survive. The, yeah, na- yeah, fight, fight to survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, he. It, 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 I got a trampoline in my backyard where I just moved. Punky's coming by. He's gonna, you know. So it's. Yeah, I'm just telling you. you better watch I know it. what I'm watching later on tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Never God. surrender. Yeah. Dude, Bloodsport, oh, yeah. all-time great movie. 
I, I, I got to give it to uh, Dominic for being here and, and dealing with this. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how you got him in here deals. And then he also tolerates uh, this. this I sold the link on the black market and a couple guys got a hold of one. There might be another one coming from the Northeast, but I'm not positive. <laughs> well, you guys uh, you give give another question to Dominic here if you got one, so we don't take up all of his time here, and uh, and we can run down the rest of this card as well. So, uh, any anything else for Dominic? Dom, what do you think is going to be the biggest hurdle in the Crockett Cup? What's the one team where you're like, "There's my kryptonite"? Um, probably the Briscoes, <laughs> uh, even though they are on the exact opposite side of the bracket. Uh, just that level of experience and that level of experience at the highest level for twenty plus years. Um, as well, something that's really underappreciated here is they are true brothers. Those are legitimate grown brothers who have been together their entire lives. And you really can't replicate that. I mean, Kevin and I call ourselves brothers. We talk every day, you know, but there's still a disconnect there between us living apart and not doing everything in everyday life together, kind of like the Briscoes do, you know, they're running the farm out there in Sussex and, you know, they're always there, always, you know, kind of in unison. So that that's its own right. You know, I also, I do look at British invasion as a tough team because, you know, for all of my grappling prowess, Davy boy jr. Is just as good, if not better uh, because he's got more size than me. So it, it's interesting. Um, not brothers though. Not brothers. No, but Gary and Willer brothers. So they get, no, they get not brothers either. Um, <laughs> I mean, Eric Dell in the chat. Yeah, pretty much. Eric Dell in the chat uh, brought up an interesting point. Uh, Dominic, uh, where can we see you outside of Crockett Cup? I know you guys uh, seem like you're pretty busy right now. We are very busy right now. Um, pretty much every weekend through at least June, July, we're going to be kind of in action somewhere, anywhere. Uh, so just a couple places. If you're in the South, obviously Southern Underground Pro, April 17th, we will be doing a show um, at the basement East in Nashville, in East Nashville, um, action wrestling, they run monthly in Tyrone, Georgia. Um, let's see, uh, Black Label Pro based out of Crown Point, Indiana. We're tag champs there, so we're always there. Uh, if you're a Canadian watcher of the NWA, we're going to be in Ottawa for C4 on March 25th or Mar yeah, March 25th. So we're a little bit of everywhere. Um, in Pittsburgh, enjoy wrestling, which is a great up and coming promotion out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So we'll be Get there. That Iron City beer, man. I'll tell you yeah, what. Oh, yeah. That's and then uh, I do a lot of singles at AIW in Cleveland. Um, so they're kind of just a little bit of everywhere where you can see us all around, um, you know, just trying to get out there and work as much as possible. Hey, you I know, John, John Thorne, did he, did, is he the mayor of Cleveland yet or no? Uh, he's working his way towards it, I believe, Deals. He's close, okay. right. but he's working right. towards check. it. I gave, I gave him some money for uh, this, his campaign. For the campaign? I what happened. I might have gone to book Minoru Suzuki. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is this, that you only gain experience through doing. The more effort you put into something, the more experience and the more situations you're thrown into. If you ask most people, hey, where can we see you next? They're going to throw one thing at you. You had so many different places, so many different dates, so many different things. You're putting the work in, you're getting the experience. And I think that's going to be very advantageous to you come Crockett Cup because you're basically just going to be unstoppable with everything you're learning from everywhere you are. Yeah. And that's, and that's the biggest thing, Kevin and I think, you know, the more we work, the more we get out there and the more we team, the more, you know, very teams that we see, the better we're going to get. And, and that's why in three, in the last three years, we've been three time tag team of the year. That's why, you know, we've been invited to wrestle in the biggest tag team tournament in Europe and Germany. You know, it's, it's, there's a reason for everything. And it's just, honestly, it's, it's a grindstone thing for us. I love that. Um, well, I, um, I'm not like Kyle. I haven't given my endorsement to everybody, but violence and forever uh, is forever is uh, <laughs> certainly getting mine here uh, tonight. They, these guys uh, look amazing. I can't wait to see you in the Crockett cup. And it's been an honor to talk to you and, and actually, uh, uh, can't wait to meet you um, there in Nashville. That's going to be amazing. And and I'm looking forward to that match. It's going to be great. Awesome. Yeah, we're looking forward to it too. You know, hopefully we can get the, uh, the pin of the submission, move on a uh, lot rebellion and hopefully, you know, kind of run the table. And that's the thing people would say a 16, you know, going to run the table would be a Cinderella story. But for anybody that knows Kevin and I, that knows violence is forever and knows what we're about, they would say, oh, that's not a Cinderella story. These guys shouldn't be a 16 seed. These guys are at least one one through five. But, you know, we're willing to do whatever it takes to get into the tournament 
And then from there, it's just, you know, it's work at that point. And that's our game plan. Our game plan is to win the plan and take it one match at a time. All right, Dom. Well, thank you so much for being here. Crockett Cup, March 19th. He's going to be there. You can see it in WATix.com or check us out on Fight TV. Thanks again for your time, sir. No problem, guys. Thanks for having me. All right. So, so Kyle's so, got like five new favorite teams already. Seriously, yeah. I feel like I've really I've 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 experienced some people where I'm now like I want to be friends with them and follow them and everything like that. So yeah. But Violence is Forever was the last team to sell me on anything, so I'm gonna go with them still. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, at least he's he's sticking to his guns there. Guys, there's still <laughs> Can we uh, clip that out for? Have you guys even <laughs> talked about the rest of the pay per view? No, no, we've got so because deals. You showed up and you brought a, a plethora of tag teams with you that we wanted to give the respect and the reverence they deserved Look, to be a part of the Crockett Cup. Here's, here's You're the, the problem, the not yeah, us. Scott, the chat's, Scott, the chat's yeah, keeping us on task here. Let's talk about that. Scott's right. Yeah. yeah okay. Go. That's a that's a good good point. So the hex is going to be an action at Crockett Cup, and I did not intend for it to go this long without <laughs> us telling you about that. Uh, they are going to be defending their tag team titles. You know, Kylie Ray's in that women's world championship match. So who is the hex going to face? Well, we can officially say tonight, the hex will be defending those tag team championships against Kenzie Page and. The newcomer, Ella Envy. Ella looks and, pissed there. Wow. Well, I can tell you the reason this match is happening is somebody uh, high up in the NWA saw Kenzie Page and Ella Envy at, at another wrestling company and went, wow. Uh, we already know that Kenzie Page, speaking of putting in the work like we talked before, Kenzie Page in, in her young age has gained the experience and the hours in the ring and, and everything more than people twice her age usually have. So when somebody sees Kenzie Page and Ella Envy at another show being decimated, they say, let's put them in a match against the Hex. Let's see what happens. Did you tell her happy birthday? You know, it was Kenzie's birthday the other day. I'm really bad at birthdays. Yeah. Mm, we, She's we, 20. She's grizzled. We made sure <laughs> We made sure that it went up on socials. And uh, I would like to point out that we need to talk to Medusa. I assume somebody already did. Kyle, maybe it was you, Devin, pointing out. Kenzie Page is suspended. <laughs> on NWA USA. She just got suspended. <laughs> so Kyle, you better override that. Who did Deuce did that? We, we're gonna have to do something about Deuce that. did it. And uh, so yeah. uh good catch there. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh I, I assume it's just like a, a week or two. Yeah, suspension. we're gonna have to override that. Somebody's gonna override that. Yeah, so uh, I, I will no, check to see if the match is still on. Snowbody. Nobody would have made that match had it not been thought through. So there's no way. There, what uh, else is uh, on the show? I don't even know. <laughs> the uh, Teddy Deals doesn't know what's on the show. All right. So let's move on. We talked about one side of the bracket. Let's get through the other side of the bracket real quick if we could. Oh, uh, Ming. Yes. How about Pope and Mims are going to be going in the first round against the Cardonas. So are the uh, Cardona's brothers? Is that why they're both Cardona? Mike and, and Victor Cardona? That is Mike and Victor Cardona, and mm -hmm. they're going to be taking on Pope and Mims. I'm going with Cardona's. I think Pope's still emotionally devastated by the attack from Knox. I think Knox is in his head, and I also think the Cardona's are willing to do anything to win, whereas Pope and Mims, you know, they're not that low down and dirty. They're talent. Uh, the Cardona's, they get dirty, so I'm going with Cardona's. You know what? Uh, the deal machine, if I could be Jimmy the Greek here for a minute, I'm going to go with... By, by the way, it's Mike Knox and VSK, just so oh, clear. Oh, okay. Well, you said they were <laughs> brothers, the Cardonas. But uh, uh, Mims, you know, I, I've seen him pick up a car to move it out of the way so he can park, and he's pretty jacked. And I would remind you that the Pope is undefeated in 99 boxing matches. So I think that they're going to win. That's just my thing. I know Pope's hurt, but he was pissed. I saw him on TV the other day. He was like, Daddy... I'm going to, you know, he's going crazy. So uh, I'm going with them. Yeah. That's there's still doing. that bad blood between uh, Pope and Mike Knox. Yeah. And, Pope's and probably sure. pissed. Yeah. yeah See? So. See? I said that. Yeah. And uh, Mims took up for Pope back in uh, on NWA Power with these guys. So there's this. This match is a little more personal than a lot of these other first round matches. Yeah. These guys have history. So this is going to be very, very interesting. BSK is a newcomer, but uh, aligning himself with, with that crew who have weaseled themselves into every other title match. It's going to be interesting to uh, see how this plays out. Yeah. Um, 
All right. And then the uh, other, another match on that side, Aaron Stevens and Kratos. No crew time. NW- <laughs> Former NWA Tag Team Champions are going to be taking on the Dirty Sexy Boys. This is like a team. That's good. That Danny Deals. Yeah, I feel like this is a team Danny Deals would have put together. But uh, I didn't yeah. put them together. But yeah, you know, they got they got style. I, I can't go with Croutons and Stevens just because. Yeah, oh 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 oh, Crudy, he, he tried to kill me. I don't know if you guys remember. He uh, he, uh, he he choke slammed me almost through the mat uh, some time ago. Uh, yeah, and uh, well, that was kind of rude. So uh, I can't go with that. This just this is business. That's what that is. I would assume. Like, you, you can't nah, that uh, nah. <laughs> All right. Well, the <laughs> other match. Crazy. I think he's hot because uh, I, I I stole his subway card. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Was it for the actual subway or was it one with the sandwiches on it? With the sandwiches. I sold okay. it for two bucks down the street there in the lab. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I gave the guy a deal. Yeah. You know? Yeah, Kratos, uh Kratos loves his subs. So all right. And then of course the final matchup over in round one belongs to the Briscoes, the number two seeded team in this tournament, as they take on the newcomers, the now. Uh, these these boys look happy and they look skilled on the video I've watched. But, uh, <laughs> they look happy. <laughs> they do look at them. They're all smiling. Yeah. Briscoes don't look like they've ever smiled in their lives. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I was, you know, compared okay. to the Briscoes, everybody looks happy. So I, I know the Briscoes. I've had a personal history with them. And I can tell you uh, from saying the wrong thing to them at the wrong time. And that look that's on Jay Briscoe in this graphic, I saw that about. 12 inches from my face one night and I put my hands up and I broke eye contact and walked away and I was scared because that man is someone you do not mess with. And I can't help but wonder if the now you look at this, is that a bloody handprint on his hand? That could be his handprint when the Briscoes are done with them. Mm, that's an interesting idea. I wonder if like that, that should be something the Briscoes shoot for. But <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> However, I also want historically to be able to say I was right. So <clears throat> this could be clipped for different audio. You know, I don't know much about the now, and that makes them a wild card. And when you don't know much about somebody, they always have the opportunity to overwhelm the competition, even somebody as great as the Briscoes. I mean, let's not forget, in a previous Crockett Cup, the Briscoes actually were kicked out of the tournament rather early in a surprise loss. So it can happen again. Okay, now we've got both sides of the story. I uh I don't know what's more presumptuous about uh Kyle Davis here is <laughs> if he assumes that the audience watching right now is just going to accept that he's taking both sides of every match or that the social media team has time <laughs> that they're going to put out those clips separately. <laughs> just let him have both sides. Well, the deal machine has scouts everywhere. And the, now the brothers have been around for a minute up in the Northeast, Northeast wrestling and all that they're from New York. They've been around the block. They can get down if they got to. Uh, you know, you, you might want to take it if you're getting points. You know, you want to take that betting line. I'll have the deals line up with all the betting lines a uh, week before. One weird thing that happened this uh, past week on NWA Power is, you know, one match I didn't mention when running down the actual tag teams there in the Crockett Cup is the OGK and the Fixers took on each other at Power Trip, and that match was immediately turned into – the first round of the Crockett Cup. And unfortunately for the OGK, the Fixers came out on top of that one. And the Fixers have already advanced on into the second round. And uh, by the way, I had a chance to talk to them. And uh, OGK was was not very happy. Fixers were. We told you. We told you. We told you. That's what I just said. Yeah. We told you, OGK uh, nerds. Fixers. fixers. Who the hell are you? I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, gentlemen. You're I, interrupting! I'm Gary Horn with This is the End of the Sorry, Box! It, I, I'm like one large Fente Mocha. No, no, no. Shut up. Listen, Listen, Sorry, shut up. Listen, now it's on to the Crockett Cup. Ooh. We're here to fix tag team wrestling because we're the fixers. Ooh. Fixers! That's what I just said. Yeah, what you said. March 19th, March 20th. I don't care if it's the Briscoes. <gasps> Demolition! Demolition. Demolition. I don't care if it's strictly business. Legion of Doom. God bless. 
I don't care if it's a British invasion or the Bushwhackers. Have you seen them lately? Uh, yeah. No, I mean in real life. Like, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God. Listen, I don't care if it's Wild Rebellion. We're fixing tag team wrestling. That means the fixers are taking the Crockett Cup. Fixers roll! Yeah! Nerd! Ah, Starbucks! The yeah, fixers are going great. all the way. The fixers are going all the way. <laughs> Wrecking Ball Ligursky right surprise, there. Surprise. No one is classic tag teams. I'm telling you, they're going all the way. Ligursky crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I can't tell to you. To be fair, game. Gary, you, you did look like a Starbucks guy that, that I, day. And so I, I, it's an honest mistake. Yeah, I uh, and to to be fair, also Jay Bradley did shove me there, and it, it, he's a scary, scary man. <laughs> and uh, so I I don't doubt the fixers, but he means there is a lot of power uh, in the. It's fixers. Kyle's pick. He just picked him. Uh, going all the way. No way. No way can be stopped. See. Oh my God. Well, uh, another thing, uh, I guess that we could move on past. Well, I, I guess since we, since we're here and you've got the time, I did get to talk to the OGK real quick. This is the NWA standing in the back with the OGK guys. Big night tonight. Huh. Crockett cup begins. You're in there with the fixers. Unfortunately, things did not go your way. This is all we wanted. This is all we wanted. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't even know where to start. We've been having our eyes We've had our eyes on the Crockett Cup for so long. We wanted to come out, show the NWA what the OGK is all about. We wanted to raise that cup above our heads. We wanted to show everyone that we are the best team, not only here, but in the entire world. Where do you do that? You do that by proving yourself at the Crockett Cup. We wanted to start tonight. When William came out there and told us that starting tonight, we were jonesed up. That's all we wanted. That's all we asked for. But we have the fixers. These guys we just can't get rid of. These guys that are the biggest pains in my ass that I've ever had in my life. Wreck balls, Jay Bradley. I... It's all right. It's okay. Take a breath. They're not in our league. No. And the fact that we let them get to us tonight, that's on us. Yeah. I'm going to take this one personally, Mike. That's on me. I'm no, sorry. It's okay. Look, 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 look. I get it. I get it. I get it, Matt. We have to keep our cool, and I got to watch my mouth because I got two little kids at home that look up to me, and they call me daddy. But right now, I don't want to watch my freaking mouth because I'm a little bit pissed off because when me and Matt came here, when the OGK came to the NWA, we had one goal and that's gold and one goal and that's the Crockett Cup. And right now, right where we stand, right here in Oak Grove, Kentucky, that was taken from us. It was stolen from us, from the fixers once again. I promise you, I promise you, you two buffoons, I'm going to keep my mouth clean and I'm not going to watch what I say because Freddie and Carver are looking and they're watching this. This isn't done. No, no, I promise you that this isn't done by a long shot because he is I and I am him and I'm Matt Taven. But more importantly, we are the OGK and NWA, we are here to stay. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Okay, guys, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm gonna say it right now. I know Mike Bennett from you know 2008 when we were both in Ring of Honor, of and I gotta be honest with you, they're not going farther in the tournament. They are not going to win the tournament. I'm surprised. I thought you were going to pick them now. That's no, no, no. They got eliminated. It already happened. They're not going to win the pick, tournament. Pick to go all the way is OGK. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, uh, if you if you guys have a minute, let's run down night number two of the Crockett Cup. We of oh, course yeah. don't know what team is going to be there uh, in the finals. OGK, they'll be there. No, <laughs> we we've pretty well established that will not be the case. That's uh, at least at least at least in the. the the tournament. So uh I haven't win it. I'm just saying. Okay. Well, um mm. another person who could win the Crockett <laughs> who could win the Crockett Cup is uh Mr. Jeff Jarrett, who is gonna be the special Crockett Cup ambassador. Maybe he'll put himself in the tournament and he will go all the way. Double uh, J, you know, he injured my neck and I was on injured reserve for about six years. I've never forgotten it. So uh I'm not uh a I'm gonna hide He's not going to win the tournament. Everybody knows he is the guest referee for the NWA world title match. He is going to be the person that, instead of trying to win the Crockett Cup, could, if he decides, possibly change the course of NWA history in this world title match. I've never felt like things are going more smoothly than they are right now, but you're right, Kyle. Uh, Matt Cardona is taking on Nick Aldis 
World's Heavyweight Championship on the line, special guest referee Jeff Jarrett. And you guys, you, you know, if you if you if you weren't there live, you haven't had a chance to see Matt Cardona getting that world's heavyweight championship, but you will. Uh, you know, I hate that we're, we're talking in all these spoilerly ways, but uh, NWA power tomorrow night, Trevor Murdoch defends against Matt Cardona. And uh, well, uh, pre that match, we had a chance to talk to Matt. It's Gary Horn with This is the NWA. I'm backstage with Matt Cardona prior to your big world's title match with Trevor Murdoch tonight at Valor Hall. I just wanted to see if I could get your thoughts. My thoughts, huh? This is the biggest match of my career. The NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. Always ready, Matt Cardona against Trevor Murdoch. Trevor, I'm ready. I'm always ready. And you dedicated your win to the legacy of the late, great Harley Race. And I'm going to do the same. You know, Harley Race, former king of the ring. I'm, I'm the king of the death match. We're both kings. And after tonight, we're both going to be NWA World's Heavyweight Champions. So there I was you watching go. the match in the background. I didn't hear any of that. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna put this out here right now. Clearwater we, down. We all remember the world famous foregone conclusion. They said we all know that Mick Foley is gonna go win the, the title. Nobody's gonna want to see that. Millions of people tuned into it. Here's the truth of the matter. We know that Matt Cardona is NWA champion. What you need to see is how it happened. The brutality of this match. You know, it's it's one thing to know the outcome, but to see why the outcome happened, um, it, it was, was something. Scott said he was robbed. What do you think about that? Scott yeah, found out. And to look at the, the chat. In the chat. We, On the screen. He, I didn't even see that. I was busy looking at those sunglasses. I literally, you start talking and my eye goes to it and I start going, can I see myself in those sunglasses? And it messes with my head. What do you think? I was down the street and Brother Scott was getting some gas. Was like, Scott, no, what do you think? Yeah, listen, yeah. your head's taking up the entire screen. You have a real Everyone's way of just talking it. about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting out of hand. Well, uh, so big world's title match. And I think Kyle's right. I mean, I think that this is okay. You know where this is headed, but tomorrow night's going to be an awesome show because you got the big idol mania taking on the ill begotten uh, and Scion. That match is happening. You have, uh, let's see, what else is on that show? You I've got... never seen what science face looks Nick, like. Nick he always wears a mask. Yeah, and Nick and Tom Latimer, I quit match. That's going to be huge. And then, of course, the World's Heavyweight Championship, uh, Trevor Murdoch defending against Matt Cardona. This is all tomorrow night. NWA Power's hot tomorrow night. You don't want to miss that yeah. for sure. Uh, speaking of uh, the Crockett Cup, though, going back to that, of course, we've already talked to the champ, Camille. She's defending against Kylie Ray and Chelsea Green. That's a big, big matchup. Another match that's not getting nearly enough love here recently just because uh, the tournament is set, the match is formed, and NWA USA has had so much craziness going on. But if you've been watching that NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship tournament, Austin Aries, Colby Carino, Darius Lockhart, and Homicide are all advancing to the finals there and they will be competing on night number two march the 20th all right he's got the pick in this one who are you guys picking oh this is tough i will i will tell you what i saw uh uh colby after that defeat over rhett titus and and he poor colby never gets enough love but he uh he he seems as confident as i've ever seen anyone seem um uh, well, you know what? Last clip I've got. Red, you might be a champion in your house, but this is the NWA. This is my house. And you have to remember that your house burnt down and they sent you away. So don't expect to come into my house and try to make a statement on my name. And that's exactly what happened tonight. I beat you two falls in a row. You're the ROH World Television Champion, right? I'm going to be the NWA Junior Heavyweight Champion. Everyone can make jokes. Oh, he's small. Yeah, I'm a junior heavyweight. The only thing I care about is the size of my checks. And guess what? My checks are super heavyweight. 
Kobe, Kobe Jack Kareem. fired up. Is that your pick? Yeah. My pick, my pick star is Lockhart. I'm just going to put yeah. it out there. Austin Aries got the experience. I have known him for many years. I can tell you that that man knows how to win a championship. Homicide. He, he Sammy trained McCone. you, did he? Uh, he did not. Brian, Brian Danielson. Aries trained uh, some of my friends, though. No. Um, but Homicide is literally a man that's unstoppable and most dangerous human beings you could ever be in a wrestling ring with. I feel like those two guys counter each other out. Colby is on fire. Colby's doing everything he should be doing on a daily basis. But I feel like at the end of the day, Darius Lockhart, that man has an entire movement behind him. And just when I hear him speak, he makes me believe. And if a man can make me believe, that means he believes. And if somebody believes himself, they're unstoppable. Darius Lockhart, new junior heavyweight champion, I'm saying. I'm Ooh. picking uh, 187. Yeah. yeah. He's crazy. I, I was going to say, man, I, out of all those, <laughs> I'm, I'm the most scared of homicide. They're all good. Don't get it twisted. They're all good. But uh, yeah, no, that's why they're there. They advanced yeah. to the tournament finals. And on March 20th, we're going to find out who's going to be the new NWA junior heavyweight champion. We haven't even seen the belt yet. So that's exciting. I, I, can't I have, to see. but uh, I took a picture, but I, 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 I'll give you a deal. I'll show you the picture for $2. $2. Uh, hit, hit Danny deals up uh, over at uh, his uh, Twitter <laughs> handle. I'll do that. No, that's just uh, in here. That's a deal right here. That's oh, you. right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like we're playing four square or something. You two, three. I was going to say, <laughs> Teddy deals, avoiding heat whenever possible. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Another big match. Let's keep running down this card on March the 20th. Uh, how about this one? The brand new national heavyweight champion, Anthony Mayweather, is going to be defending against his longtime arch rival here, Jax Dane, the Dane event, who, by the way, at the last show in Oak Grove, uh, defeated Crimson inside of a steel cage. So he thinks he's basically earned the right to hold that national title now. He's a former national champion, we might add. So uh, he's feeling pretty good about this one. But I'm just curious what you guys think. Crimson. Look at that jacket, first of all. I mean, uh, it, you can't. <laughs> it, it's hard to pick against the guy who's got that kind of style. Right there. Look at that he didn't get that in the NWA shop. I'm telling you. Uh, uh, you know, well, you never know. Uh, <laughs> if you're in the wrong space backstage, you might be up there. But you know, it's a, it is a, it is a, that is a phenomenal jacket. And uh, it's actually, you said they were longtime rivals, but they were longtime partners, and then That's they true. became That's rivals. True. You know, and, and yeah. I think I, I feel uh, old uh, uh, Godzilla is a former uh, he world's heavyweight champion as well, is he not? He is. Uh, he is a former yeah. U.S. U.S. champion and national champion, and uh, if Doc was here, he'd correct us on this if I'm wrong, but I think that he held the national and the U.S. at the same time, actually. So just a interesting situation there. But, yeah, he's very familiar with NWA gold, and uh, he's been looking to get some back. He couldn't get it done, apparently, in a tag team with Mayweather, and so he thought better of it and thought he could do uh, something on his own. Unfortunately for him, Mayweather getting the first uh, – gold since that split up of the war kings and now uh dane thinks he can uh come take it i well, mean Jax my money is on jack stain I, I i think i agree with it jack stain is the man right now and even if let's face it hometown hero crimson has the crowd behind him that's going to get almost anybody at the point where they need to succeed but the deal breaker in all this is that jack stain has won before by cheating and when you're willing to cheat in a match and you have the insight to cheat like he does I think Jax has the upper hand. I want Mayweather to win, but I feel like Jack Stane's going to. Also, I look like a tiny version of him, so I'm going to cheer for myself. I love his sunglasses, too. I mean, you just can't, you know, he's like the fashion plate of the NWA. You can't, you know. What do you think, Will? I, I think this is a completely different version of Anthony Mayweather than we've seen in, in previous matchups, even in the oh. cage match that we saw. Yeah, he on cut his hair a little bit, right. <laughs> But uh, I mean, you know, he's he started to he obviously he's become the closer. He uh, he was able to seal the deal with Chris Adonis and to to win the national title. So I think, you know, this is a completely different Anthony Mayweather. He's got uh, a lot more to lose, obviously, and a lot more to prove in this match against Jack Stane. And I, I think he rises to the occasion. and I think he retains. OK, I say Kyle gets a winner. No. <laughs> Both yeah. those men are very, very strong, dangerous individuals <laughs> that are more than capable of destroying almost anybody that gets in the ring with them. Yeah, I don't want to be in that situation. 
Yeah, a we, great for us to watch. No, a great for us to watch is them going against each other. <laughs> a great for us to watch is not me being destroyed by either man. <laughs> Danny, that's not a I deal. don't know. What do you think, Garrison? I think it'd be good. Oh, man. I think Mayweather's uh, finally found his place in the National Wrestling Alliance. Like, he feels – I think he's he's got that confidence back. He's he's learning how to close. He is uh, – I think I, I think we're seeing Mayweather on – on the march towards more and more gold. So I, I, I don't, I don't it's think gross. you make any money betting against Anthony Mayweather right now. Yeah. All right. Well, what uh, else you, is on the show? Well, I'll tell you, uh, one of the things that I love about this card right now, Danny, is that, uh, you want to talk about big bruising matchups. I mean, my God, does it get any bigger than, than, Anthony Mayweather and Jack Stane. Well, I don't know. You tell me. How about the TV titles on the line with Tyrus? Whoa. The Manster, as Austin Idom calls him, defends the TV title against the veteran, the rugged red dog, Rodney Mack. My God. I mean, if you thought the last match was going to be just a brawl, how about this one? I mean, Tyrus has been TV champion for all of recent memory. And the fact of the matter is he's been an unstoppable force. Rodney Mack, however, I mean, we just talked about Jack's day. Rodney Mack took just displeasure with something that Jack said, cuffed him in the head, and we didn't see Jack's for months. That's a man that could take somebody out of action. Tyrus, he's been on a stop. He's just been like a train that won't be beatable. But Rodney, Rodney could do the damage. Rodney could walk away with the TV title. Mm. Yeah, well... I'm going to give the edge to old Tyrus because of uh, Austin Idol is a genius. And so uh, I think he will have a, a good game plan uh, laid out. Uh, he knows what offense and defense he wants to maybe, run. So Maybe he'll dress up as Rodney Mack's mom. Because that's what genius managers <laughs> do, right? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just, just throwing that <laughs> out there. I don't know. It, it just, it, it, <laughs> That worked, by the way, and and, and and I have not forgotten that Tim Storm uh, uh, viciously assaulted me. And he's lucky I didn't sue. And I yeah, it was out. funny to hear you say it worked, and then also add that part in. Well, he assaulted me. I mean, the man's a thug, you know. Tim Storm you should change it to Tim Thug. Oh goodness! <laughs> Will you well, think the TV title changes hands? I agree with uh, everything Deals said right up until uh, all the last stuff he was just saying. I, I do think the X factor in this picture is standing right behind Tyrus. I think Austin Idol, you know, despite how dangerous Rodney Mack definitely is, I think Austin Idol um, puts together a game plan and uh, Tyrus, Tyrus retains that TV title. Mm. Yeah, I got to say, I mean, this is going to be what the fifth defense, if I'm not mistaken, for Tyrus. Uh, marching on his way to that lucky seven, as if he even seems concerned with that. Uh, he's been sporting that TV title around like it's the most important title in the National Wrestling Alliance, as he should. So very cool of him to do that. He's the champion uh, of all of television. Yeah, there you go. So uh, anyway, match number five. I don't think that Tyrus. Uh, I don't think Tyrus drops it here. I just don't. I love Rodney Mack, and I and I love how how vicious he could be. But man. Tyrus has proved to be unstoppable thus far. Imagine if I called all of these. Imagine if I was right on every level. You'd all be, your minds would be blown. You'd be like, he had the answers all the time. <laughs> if you, you were right, so, you'd have to bend reality. You pick, <laughs> you pick team, every play in team. Cup, so I mean, you're bound to be right on one of them. You know? Yeah, I was going to say, if you're right on everything, yeah. the Crockett Cup would be a real screwy finish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah with yeah. some good video editing, yeah. uh, you know, we could make it sound like you were right on all these. Yeah. That's what I'll ask. Maybe maybe we could have deals negotiate something and we could edit together a video of all of Kyle's picks and those picks winning and then there maybe there maybe I'll I'll bribe Trees ass. This is it. It's the fall of mankind. That's right. <laughs> and of course the uh, hex defending against Kinsey Page and Ella Envy as we discussed earlier and revealed on this show. Uh, this is why you got to tune into these shows. You get you get these kind of matches revealed. You get the women's champ Camille up top. You get, you get deals. Surprise, I was about to say a surprise run in by Danny yes. Deals along with every team in the play in. <laughs> Whoever he sends the link to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, huh? That's pretty sweet. Still got a few of these left. Large are gone, though. Wow. Ooh. No luck. All right. Well, not an issue for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> well, I got two X. I'm out of three X. There you go. There you go. Oh, this is just a secret way for Will to tell everybody what his shirt size is, so they'll send him free merch. <laughs> yeah, somebody yeah. buy Will. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and I'll uh, maybe shirt. my head's cold. Yeah. I could use a hat. Everybody oh, here has got old shirts on. You got the Crystal Lake shirt. That's nice. I actually got part two on here in the background. But then nice. you guys, you guys get to need some upgrades here. Uh, old uh, K one and William, you guys gotta get some upgrades here. Yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> Usually I've got an NWA shirt on, but yeah, you're right. I guess I need to hit the uh, hit the old shop. Mm-hmm. You do. You got to fit in. Apparently K1 says so. And for those interested in recent Crockett Cup history, uh, especially because of recent events, the only place you're going to see it now is you're going to get a DVD from me, and they're almost gone again. I had 40, and I'm down to six, I think, Goodness from 2019. Gracious. And, it, and it's, it's 10 are bucks. a deal, it's man. 20 to 10. This is legit. He's not even joking. He's like, <laughs> this is insider stuff right now. Man, you are quite the deal maker. I'm telling you. Uh, Look at that 605 sure. shirt. I love that 605 shirt. <laughs> uh, it's beautiful. Uh-huh. Um, the only other cool deal going on that's better than, or that, that's on the level of what Danny Deals is offering mm-hmm. is, I have to say this, all access, annual subscription, $49.99. Every NWA pay-per-view included first run of NWA power, which means you get to watch it tomorrow night in that big world title match with Matt Cardona and Trevor Murdoch. And uh, otherwise you got to wait till Friday to see it on YouTube. Also, by the way, if you're feeling lucky, are you playing the contest online right now? There each Friday on power, there's a secret passcode. You can comment it on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And we have a drawing. This drawing will be probably on Thursday again. And you could randomly win a free year of NWA All Access. So go look for that post and uh, comment there. The secret passcode. Uh, I'll give you a, a hint. Other people are commenting the secret passcode. So uh, why would you do that? that? <laughs> what, what purpose does that serve? Yeah. I mean, I, if if it turns out, the do you remember the name of the gentleman that won last week? Do you remember the person that won last week? I, I do, yeah. I mean, I don't remember his name. At least ask but what I'm saying is, if it turns out that yeah. that person won for no other reason than you just threw a name out there like this and you gave them a cheat and they didn't even watch the program, it's all ruined. So still watch Power. Oh. Well, I, think, I think you're missing the point. They didn't watch Power, but they did watch the A show, which is this show. Okay. So. Oh, hey, Kyle, tell them about the T-shirt. <laughs> tell them about the T-shirt? What which about the T-shirt? Point? What about the Twiggy? Oh, you mean the, for the free T-shirt if they sign up to All Access now, the annual pass? Mm, oh, you got to tell me these things. You had smoke coming. It was very distracting. You looked like a little Puff the Magic Dragon down there. <laughs> but what Puff the Magic Dragon is, is he was from the land of Hanali, which might not be real, but this deal is real. That's right. Ooh. Deals. This deal is real. All Access, annual pass, forty nine ninety nine Gets you everything for the next year. All the pay-per-views, all the shows, first-run program. You know, if you're one of those people that's upset about knowing what happens all the time because you waited till Friday when it aired Tuesday, this is how you get in it. You get with the cool kids. You get on board now, and Crockett Cup's included in that. And also what's included is a free T-shirt. Limited time only. I think it ends uh, March 19th. It does. See, you throw it to Kyle, and he goes straight into Gene Oakland mode. It's oh, awesome. Good. You just flip that switch. Talking about Sorry. It. <laughs> and that's the best. No, it's and, and yeah, look at look at James A. Jackson Jr. there. That's no shade, by the way, because I, I was watching the show last night. Kyle was at the show last night, so we're not throwing shade. Just say it. Think about for the price, forty nine ninety nine. just comparing the prices. Yeah. 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 You get a full year of NWA pay-per-views and you get to watch NWA power before anybody else, special events, that sort of thing. It's a good yeah. deal. How's that grab your ass? Yeah, that's uh mm, frisky. Well, frisky. <laughs> it is. All right. Anything <laughs> else we should talk about it's before we wrap this thing up? Whenever she'd say something, you know, she goes, no, you got to do that there. That's it. How's that grab your ass? It just basically means, you know, there it is. I feel like this. Wow. Is Danny Deals thinking that grab ass is just a motherly affection thing. <laughs> <laughs> we got, uh, Just next week's guest, yeah. if you guys are tuned in, is going to be a psychiatrist from Harvard, and they're going to be here to <laughs> analyze the NWA roster. Yeah, <laughs> I'll get you a deal on that. Is, is there any other matches? Do you guys talk about any other matches? No, I don't think so, man. I think the only other. So, so you got, uh, you got 
The World's Heavyweight Championship is on the line there. The Women's Championship on the line. The Junior Heavyweight Championship will be awarded to someone. And there's the National Heavyweight Championship. The TV Championship. And the Women's Tag Championship. And that's not to mention the finals of the Crockett Cup. That's all on night number two, March the 20th. Nashville Fairgrounds. You can see it live at WATX.com. I didn't realize until you said it. Every match is a title match. It is like every, well, I mean, I guess if jumping to Jehoshaphat, I consider the Crockett Cup a, a, a title. It's a, okay. it's a cup and there's metal on it and then there's engraving sometimes. It's okay. a title. And you get the yeah. title of Crockett Cup champion. Yeah. Booyah. It's it's the like Stanley Cup. Come on, Gary. Okay, so okay. I, I, that, that just blew my mind, though. I mean, we went we went through it, and then as we actually hit it, I'm like, wow, a lot of history could happen. Yeah. That's true. Every single every, every title single is up for If match. you wear a belt in your jeans that night, it might be on the line if you're not careful. <laughs> <laughs> All belts are on the line. That's it. That's it. I'm, so, I'm going to fight Kyle for his belt. That's it, Daddy. I'm telling you, I'm better wear track. I'm not wearing one. I got yeah. shorts on. <laughs> I thought about either, it. I was, like, either, I was about to say, either you just encouraged everyone to wear a belt, to the Crockett Cup, which would be just interesting. You, if you bring a replica, reason. somebody might try to roll you up. That's all I'm or you've encouraged everyone to not wear their belts, and then we're just going to have a bunch of pantsless people at the Crockett Cup in the crowd. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll get all crazy. Listen to Gary over here. Acting like he's Tom Jones. Oh, oh man. He will start just rolling people up when he sees a title around their shoulder at the Crockett Cup, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you. you bring I just up hope they know right? what's going on, and they don't think they're being assaulted by it. A crazy man in the middle of the street in Nashville. That's right. I might Danny Nielsen's going to gonna be in his ref shirt following me around. It's going to be great. This is going to be good footage for the for the live stream that we're doing here. It is. And oh. tell the people that the deal machine and candy, of course, will be there. You know, That's some true. people like candy, you know, not so much. But, of course, deals will be there. What's the story I, with you and candy? I like backstory. Where'd she come from? How'd you meet? She came from the candy store. <laughs> is she an independent contractor? Is she considered an employee? What does she do for like? What's her tax code when she works for you? I mean, I, there's there's I something's Come up. I, it's here, weird. Oh, Sorry, I'm just curious. You keep on mentioning Candy in every video, and yet barely, rarely is she there. I don't know if she's really with you or not. So I have a lot of questions. She's I, very I, busy in the off season, and she's she's got a lot of stuff going on. I got to say that Candy is about 90% of the reason that we keep letting Danny on the show oh, and, uh, and hopes, oh. and hopes that a, she'll pop on one day. It's a trick. <laughs> but it's, well, uh, one of no. these days, maybe she'll pop up, but she, she's busy. She's got stuff. Yeah. She's got stuff happening. We've got stuff Guys, going listen, on. No, I can't I, tell you everything. It makes me think that one day the woman we think is Candy is not going to be the woman we think is Candy. And there's going to be some big deal swerve that Candy's going to be something else. No, that's her. She's my sugar pop. What are you talking about? Candy needs to Candy will be there, Scott. Don't worry about it. Look, see how big it is? It seems seems forebodingly creepy. Why? That she's going to be at the Crockett Cup? Is she not allowed to walk in the building? If Candy is that, what you say it <laughs> is. Cancel pay-per-view. See what you started there, Garrison? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good. This is going to be fun. Uh, candy pays taxes? Huh. Interesting. I mean, I, you just got to think about it. If somebody works with somebody, there's money involved, which means next thing you know, there's taxes. It's just the next chain of thought. Guys, I think we make a, a great team. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Mike's over it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we make a great team. I never know where the conversation is going to go, but I got to be honest, Mike might be right. It might be time to go and wrap Guys, it's up. been two hours. I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. I told my wife we'd be here an hour, so that's, uh, <laughs> that's good. I yeah, feel like I'm responsible, but then I remember that Deals brought all these people. That we I was wanted. about to say, I didn't know that Danny Deals was in, inviting all of like the Tennessee, Ohio region. I just, sold the, territory. I just sold the link on the black market. It's okay. I gave him a deal. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, from Danny Deals and Kyle Davis, Will Martin, and me. Thank you guys for being here. Seriously, Vinitude Art, Devin, Scott, Eric, even you, Mike, Devin. I already said you, Pete, Willie, Nani was in there. Hey, all you people, it's great to see you. I all. just hope everybody had a great time. Time got a little away from us 
we had some some nice pop-ups but hey that's what this is all about it's about having experience and there's live stuff and you never know what's going to happen on this show tonight was a perfect example of that so uh i just want to say thank you to everybody that follows us on here because uh literally the the people you're looking at in here minus myself and danny deals do so much and really do care about each and every one of you and try to do the best they can for everybody so props to everyone Doc Deals. That's what I'm talking about, Doc. We're going to do run-ins on every match. Shirts on or off. <laughs> we'll figure out when we get there. Oh, all right. Well, thank you guys for being here. We we love you all, and we hope to see you uh, next week, Monday, same time. And uh, till then, well, enjoy NWA Power on Tuesday night at 6.05. If you're already on access memory, if not, it's on Friday on YouTube, 6.05. NWA USA at noon on Saturday, and then you can join us back here on Monday at 6.30. And in between all of that, you guys, please enjoy your gravy cake.